Welcome to the fantasy audiobook. Hokage. I am no longer a human being. Steal the forbidden arts and spread the ninja world. Chapter 41. After everyone successfully left the country of wind and set foot on the land of the country of fire again, they felt indescribably happy. Nozuki, how is Qingxian's injury? The toxin has been stabilized by me, and the rest needs to be returned to the village for treatment. Hitaki Sakumo was really relieved to hear this. No, why don't you ask me? I'm still covered in injuries. Tu Xing on the side was very dissatisfied with his captain's attitude and hurriedly ran to him, lifted up his clothes and exposed the hideous wounds. Okay, your wounds are almost scabbing, are you sorry? Yamanaka slapped him on the head one by one, making the latter smile embarrassedly. The successful completion of this mission is mainly thanks to Chinchin. By the way, Chinchin, what kind of drug did you give her? Why doesn't she wake up yet? Looking at Yi Kang in Yu Gong Chinchin's arms, everyone was a little surprised. It's been a day, and Yi Kang hasn't woken up yet. What kind of drug was used in Moonlight Chinchin? It's so terrifying. Hey, this is an exclusive formula. One drop of it will help you sleep for three days. If any of you have insomnia in the future, come to me and take care of it. Yu Gong Chinchin laughed, very obscenely, making everyone shake their heads. Sakumo sama when you return to Konoha, will Hayakura be sent directly to the torture department? Hitaki Sakumo nodded. This kind of intelligence work has specialized people to handle it. What, do you have any ideas? Yu Gong Chinchin glanced at Yi Kang in his arms. To be honest, he was a little reluctant to send such a beautiful woman to the torture department. Those are some perverts who have no idea what beautiful women are. Everyone performs his or her own duties, but it is up to Master Hokage to decide how to do it. After all, he probably didn't expect that instead of getting the information back, you kidnapped a surprise attack captain and brought him back. As he talked, Hitaki Sakumo laughed. This mission was so successful. After all, it was much easier for a surprise attack team to collect intelligence than for them. Back in the village, Hitaki Sakumo first sent Aoyama to the hospital, and then led everyone straight to the Hokage building. At this time, 3rd Hokage Serutobi Hirazan was not the only one in the Hokage's office, there was another person standing in front of him. It was his old partner and Shimura Danzo who always gave him trouble. Serutobi, someone like Gekko Senzen should be handed over to me, Nibi. Don't you know how valuable his blood succession limit and flying thunder god techniques are? Yes, this is someone who came directly to ask for someone. Leave such a person to me, and I promise to make him Konoha's most powerful spy. And not a teacher who teaches in a school. Serutobi, you are wasting your talent. Serutobi Hirazan didn't know what his old friend was planning. With a penetrating hand, if Moonlight Chinchin reaches its roots, the first person to be monitored is one of his own. Maybe even he will be on Donzo's watch list, no, he is already on the list now. Humph, this old fool really never stops. Danzo, you stretched your hand too far. Gekko Senzen is now a janin in the village and a teacher at the ninja school. His contribution to the village is not small at all. There is no need to go to your roots. You don't need to mention this matter again. Serutobi Hirazan directly rejected Danzo's idea. Just when Danzo was about to continue talking, there was a knock on the office door. HMPH, you will regret it, Hirazan. If you let such a talent go unused, sooner or later you will pay for your own stupidity. Danzo knew that he had failed this time, so he could only put down a harsh word and walked out. During the gate of opening, Hitaki Sakumo looked at Danzo with a bad look on his face. He heard clearly outside the door, this old fool, they were doing a mission outside, and this fool actually wanted to poach his people. Seeing Hitaki Sakumo return, Danzo's expression also changed, but after all, he is a person who has experienced great storms. Just walk away from him, and the people behind Sakumo or his team. At this time, everyone looks away and does not look at Danzo. On the contrary, Yu Gong Chinchin looked at Danzo with a trace of amusement. What a good guy, I actually wanted to dig out his roots while he was not at home. The roots are the darkest place. Danzo also saw the moonlight Chinchin, a trace of unwillingness flashed in his eyes, and then left. Sakumo, are you back, so fast, Serutobi Hirazan showed a hint of surprise when he saw Hitaki Sakumo's team returning. 
You've only been away for a few days. Why are you back? Could it be that the mission failed? Or is there something wrong? The mission was accomplished, and it was over fulfilled. Sukumo said with a smile, and then let everyone enter the room. Among them is Yi Kang, who is held by Yu Gong Chinchen. No, Chinchen, why are you still holding her? There is a sofa over there, put her down. Hitaki Sakumo looked at Moonlight Chinchin speechlessly, why was he still holding him after he had already entered the house? Are you so reluctant to let go? Isn't she just a pretty woman? Really? Ha, huh, not as good looking as his wife at all. Oh oh oh, put it, put it, can you put it on the sofa? Yu Gong Chinchin didn't blush, so he walked to the sofa very naturally, and then gently put Yi Kang down. At this time Sarutobi Hirazan saw the female ninja being placed on the sofa. Especially since her forehead protector came from Sunagakar village, I was really surprised. Is this a ninja from Sunagakar village? Intelligence mission, to capture a ninja, needless to think, this ninja must be crucial. Well, the situation is like this. Hitaki Sakumo didn't hide anything and directly told the situation of this mission including breaking out of the siege alone, and then using the Flying Thunder God's technique to save everyone from fire and water in Yugong Chinchin. Although Serutobi Hirazan had a suspicion in his mind, he still couldn't help showing a hint of surprise when he heard that the woman in front of him was the captain of the surprise attack of Sunagakar village. The eyes looking towards Moonlight Chinchin are full of joy. This kid, if he doesn't take action, it's enough, but when he does, it's amazing. What happened last time with Kumo hidden in Yu no Kuni, plus this time with the information about Sunagakar village, he is definitely a talent. Ha, huh, Danzo, you actually want to snatch such a talent away from him. Don't even think about it. Qingxin is still in the hospital for treatment. Without Qingxin's help in this mission, we wouldn't have been able to escape so easily. Hokage-sama, these are the details of this mission. With the help of Yugong Chinchin, the mission was completed perfectly and there was no reduction in staff. It can be said to be a huge success. Okay, very good, let's hand the person over to the torture department. Serutobi Hirazan sat down again with great satisfaction, his face very satisfied. Um, Lord Hokage, can you not hand this person over to the torture department? As for information, with Heichi here, we can still obtain it using mind-reading techniques. Suddenly Yu Gong Chinchin spoke, his opening really surprised everyone present. Ha, huh, Chinchin, do you know what you are talking about? This is a ninja from Sunagakar village, a ninja from an enemy country. How can we not hand it over to the torture department? Serutobi Hirazan was not unhappy because Gekko Chizan suddenly spoke. On the contrary, I was very curious about his thoughts. Well, she is a ninja, but she is also a woman. Those perverts in the torture department. As a gentleman, this kind of thing, hey, hey, hey. So, Master Hokage, can we change the way to obtain information? Yes, it's just because the other person is a beautiful woman that I relented. This naughty thing, Hitaki Sakumo covered his face speechlessly, while the others looked at Moonlight Chinchin with a joking look on their faces. Even Serutobi Hirazan couldn't help laughing. Boy, do you have any misunderstanding about the torture department? Although we need information, if the other party cooperates, there will be no torture. When the information is successfully obtained, if she cooperates, she can be allowed to live in the village temporarily, but she needs to be supervised and a seal must be left on her body. Upon hearing this, Yu Gong Chinchin couldn't help but smile awkwardly. Most of his memories of the torture department came from one person, the future leader of the torture department, Morino Ihiki. That's a wolf destroyer, he can harm himself and the other party at the same time, tisk tisk. It seems that the torture department does not have this wolf slayer yet. Think about it, the current Ibiki has not grown up yet. That's it, do you think I'm suitable for custody? I know how to do sealing techniques. Do you think the five elements seal can be used? Make sure she doesn't cause trouble in the village. Saying that, Yu Gong Chinchin walked directly towards Yi Kang happily. Stretching out his right hand, Chakra surged, and chakra flames instantly appeared on the five fingers of his right hand. Five elements seal. The seal fell, and a sealing techniques pattern instantly appeared on Yi Kang's belly wearing a navel bearing outfit. With the completion of the seal, Moonlight Chinchin directly disrupted the chakra in Yi Kang's body. With the seal of the five elements, 
the other party would be frustrated if they wanted to use the chakra. Her strength will be greatly reduced. Chinchin boy, why are you so interested in a ninja from Sunagakar village? If we talk about beauties, our village is not without them. Sarutobi Hirazan was very curious about Moonlight Senzin's motives. Yu Gong Chinchin was silent. What did he say? Did he say that Yi Kang would be betrayed by the village in the future? As a hero, he would die under the plot of his own family. To be honest, he didn't really like the other person, he just felt that it was very sad that such a beauty would die at the hands of the village he was loyal to. Of course, Yi Kang's back is really pretty. Well, when I sneaked into Sunagakar village, I found her bathing alone. That sense of loneliness comes out of her all the time. Obviously we are in the mood for love, but just because we have a certain level of strength, we have to serve the village every day. Having her exhausted body alone to relieve herself every day, her experience reminded me of the war. It is because of the existence of war that there are many such people who appear to be glamorous on the surface, but secretly heal their wounds alone. As he spoke, everyone's eyes were fixed on Yugong Chinchin. I don't like fighting. Even if I have strong skills, I still don't like fighting. I like to be free, but I will also contribute to the village. After all, my home is here. Well, she is not. If possible, I want her to stay in Konoha. A lonely person, if it were not required by the village, she would not take the path of fighting. We in Konoha never take the initiative to attack others, right? This is the inner monologue from Yugong Chinchin. He is a time traveler and knows how cruel this world is. So he avoids fighting and puts himself in danger. Although there are intrigues in Konoha village and there is Danzo who represents darkness, Konoha never takes the initiative to attack. As long as he paddles, he can spend his life in peace. This is his ideal. His words stunned everyone present, especially Hitaki Sakumo. With great strength and dedication to the village, he returned home alone after the mission and drank alone. War, well, if possible, who would want war to happen? Okay, don't pretend to be asleep when you wake up. Suddenly, Sarutobi Hirazan's words shocked everyone again. Then everyone looked at Yi Kang who was lying on the sofa. She woke up. Even Yu Gong Chinchin was a little surprised now. He had taken a lot of phosphorus powder. Logically speaking, she would have to sleep for another half day, so why did she wake up now? When Yi Kang saw that he was discovered, he stopped pretending and slowly stood up and sat on the sofa. But her eyes stayed on Yu Gong Chinchin. This little devil. He actually spied on her taking a shower. And she was wearing clothes, which meant that this fool brat also put clothes on for her. Good, very good. Humph, is this the Konoha ninja? You actually peeked at a woman taking a bath, so, so good. Yi Kang's angry eyes made Yu Guang Chinchin tremble. Well, it's over. The person involved found out about peeping on others. This is so bad, it's all the third generation old man's fault. Moonlight Chinchin didn't dare to look directly into Yi Kang's eyes, so he could only stare at the third Hokage with anger that turned into even more burning anger. Why, why didn't you tell him earlier that she was awake? I peeped at others and even touched them, bah. I put clothes on them. Personal, isn't this just straight up numb claws? You must have placed the seal on me as well. Kid, you can do it, I will remember you. If a person's eyes can eat people, now Yu Gong Chinchin has been eaten by Yi Kang. Or swallow it raw without even chewing it. Moonlight Chinchin is dripping with cold sweat. Sister, I am already 15 and you are not much older than me. You are like a brat. In fact, what he said is right, Yi Kang is only 18 years old now. Now that you're awake, you should know your situation. Are you cooperating on your own, or do you need us to do it for you? Hitaki Sakumo is not a good person, he will not be soft-hearted just because the other person is a woman. This is a compulsory course for every Anbu, never be soft-hearted. Do you think I might cooperate? Yi Kang stood up slowly, his height of over 1.6 meters exuding the aura of a strong man. It actually made a few people frown slightly. If you want information, get it yourself. If I guess correctly, you have already obtained part of the information from my head. After she woke up, she always felt like her memory was being turned over. The art of mind reading will have some sequelae, which is inevitable. Kid, you just said you wanted to be my supervisor. Aha, Yu Gong Chinchin nodded, 
this is what he just said, he will not deny it. Very good, I am a prisoner of Konoha village now. If you want information, come and get it. He ripped off the forehead protector and threw it on Hokage's table, then Yi Kang sat directly on the sofa. It looked like she had surrendered, but anyone who looked at her fire-breathing eyes would not feel that she had truly surrendered. Only Yi Kang knew exactly what she was doing. Being captured, she faced the Hokage of Konoha village and the Konoha White Fang standing aside. There was no possibility of her escaping. Just give in for a while. What made her make this decision was Yu Gong Chinchen's words just now. A person who is lonely in his heart would not take the road of fighting if it were not required by the village. She is an orphan. Because of her talent, she was discovered by the village and began to train her. Once she has a certain level of strength, she will continue to contribute to the village. A lonely person. Sakumo, take her to the torture department first, and Yamanaka Heichi will go with her. Sarutobi Hirazan looked at Moonlight Chinchin's face full of hope and smiled slightly. You will also go with her, and the subsequent custody tasks will be left to you, but you must ensure that she will not take action in the village. Otherwise, you know the consequences, Chinchin. Once you take action in the village, there is only a dead end. Yu Gong Chinchin understood very well, and he nodded solemnly. The torture department is not as dark as imagined, it is just an ordinary house. The same few people were standing in front of Yi Kang. The only thing that changed was that there were a few more people around. Yamanaka Heichi put his hand on her head and activated his mind-reading technique to obtain information. In Yi Kang's mind, he was recalling the way that kid looked when he spoke. Lonely person. Yes, she has always been lonely. Whether she is on a mission or going home, she is always alone. She obviously doesn't like being alone, not at all. Tears suddenly fell from the corners of her eyes. Ha, huh, can mind reading still make people cry? Heichi, are you sure your technique is fine? You can't do this. Has your mind reading skill expired? Moonlight Chinchin, who was waiting on the side, suddenly noticed this situation, and instantly lost confidence in Yamanaka Heichi. It seemed that even the Yamanaka clan made mistakes sometimes. And Yamanaka Heichi's mind reading skill was just completed. He looked at Yu Guang Chenchen with a look of disgust and confusion, and he was instantly unhappy. What are you talking about? I'm from the Yamanaka clan. How could I make a mistake in mind reading? Besides, I just read her memory. At most, her brain will be confused for a while. It's none of my business to cry. Yi Kang suddenly came back to his senses, wiped away his tears, and returned to his usual indifferent appearance. Can I go? Kid, take me out of here. After hearing this, Yu Gong Chinchin let go of Yamanaka Heichi and nodded. Under the watchful eyes of everyone, he took Yi Kang away from here. After walking out of the torture department, Yu Gong Chinchin untied the handcuffs on Yi Kang's hands. The handcuffs can be lifted for you, but the five elements seal on your body cannot be lifted. After all, your status is very special. You may have to live in my house from now on. Don't worry, my family is not just me, there are others. Yi Kang looked at him and snorted disdainfully. What, I'm scary. You weren't like this when you peeked at me taking a shower, weren't you? I'm curious, even though I was taking a shower, I didn't let my guard down. Your hidden ability is very strong. Yu Gong Chinchin doesn't know how to answer. Is it possible to tell her that he can become invisible? Is peeping more effective with less effort? Oh, forget it if you don't say it, let's go, kid. No, can you stop talking like a brat? You're not a few years older than me. Yu Gong Chinchin was very unhappy with what Yi Kang called him. Why is he such a brat? Let me tell you, he has been a man for two lifetimes and he is at least 40 years old now. I don't know what your name is. Also, are you younger than me? Yu Gong Chinchin. Yeah, why bother arguing with her when you have nothing to do? My name is Gekko Chinchin, from the Konoha Gekko clan. Let's go, I'll take you to my house. Back at her home, Sammy Abby was still sitting in front of the room looking at the moonlight blast. She was quite happy when she suddenly saw Moonlight Chinchin coming back, but she froze within three seconds of being happy. Holy shit, Chinchin boy, you can do it. This is a girl who was kidnapped from somewhere. Tisk tisk, if nothing else, you have a good sense. These big breasts and big butt are definitely easy to give birth to. Yi Kang, Moonlight Chinchin. Ouch, my god. 
Yes, yes, if your parents knew that you started dating a girlfriend at such a young age, they would definitely be happy to death. Now, the blood of the Yugong family can be passed down. Girl, don't worry, our Chinchin boy may not look reliable. Well, what he does seems unreliable, but he is still a nice person. Yi Kang had never been treated so warmly before, and he was a little confused for a moment. But seeing how enthusiastic the other aunt was, she was too embarrassed to say a word. Ah, hello, my name is Yi Kang. Yi Kang, right, yes, very good. This name sounds like a beauty. My name is Abby Sammy. You can just call me Auntie Sammy. I watched this kid grow up. Come on, are you hungry? I'll get you some food. Abby Sammy completely ignored Moonlight Chinchin and pulled Yi Kang towards the yard. Yu Gong Chinchin froze in place, and only chuckled after a long time. Originally, he was worried that Ebisame would not be able to accept the fact that he suddenly brought a woman back, but it seemed that he was overly worried. Aunt Same, you just said that Yu Gong Chinchin didn't do any good things. What has he done? As soon as Ebisame heard this, she laughed out loud. Ha 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 ha, talking about the bad things he has done, there are so many. For example, peeking into someone's bath. Moonlight Chinchin was completely overwhelmed. Hey, Aunt Sammy, if you can't say this, don't say it. Yi Kang, ha ha ha, you little fool, you turn out to be a habitual criminal. It is different from the joy of the Moonlight family. Inside the Hokage building, Sakumo, what do you mean? Third Hokage Serutobi Hirazan looked at Hitaki Sakumo's resignation letter on the table, showing a hint of shock. Ha ha ha. Now that I am past middle age, I am not as decisive as before in doing things. If this mission wasn't for Chinchin's flying thunder god technique, I guess I would have done something regrettable. Maybe the mission will fail. Hitaki Sakumo smiled slightly. During this mission, he suddenly found that he was not as good as before, whether it was his will or his thinking. Besides, I only resigned as Captain Anbu, not that I stopped being a ninja. Serutobi Hirazan looked at Hitaki Sakumo with a smile on his face, and for a moment he was a little confused about the other person's attitude. Hitaki Sakumo has always been his supporter. He is very powerful and serves as the captain of Anbu. In the Second Ninja War, he gained the reputation of Konoha Whitefang, which can be said to be a great achievement. It was just an intelligence mission. Why did this Whitefang think of retiring? Hokage-sama, do you know? When faced with difficulties, I am not as calm as my subordinates. I don't know when I started to attribute the solution to everything to death. When facing enemies on the battlefield, killing them is the only option. But when it was my turn, I actually lost my ability to think. My only thought at that time was to fight the enemy to the death. Hitaki Sakumo's voice was very steady, as if he was telling a very small thing. But Serutobi Hirazan didn't think so. He felt that the Konoha White Fang in front of him seemed to have been hit. Just because of a mission. We were able to escape from the Kingdom of Wind this time, all thanks to the calmness of Yugong Chinchin and the magic of the Flying Thunder God. Without Chinchin, the situation of this mission would have been many times more difficult. Chinchin was already injured at the time. I didn't know whether I would give up the mission to save him, or give up my team members for the mission. But no matter which one I choose, I will live with the guilt. Speaking of this, Hitaki Sakumo showed a trace of bitterness on his face. Obviously, this is what he thinks. So, I decided to resign as Captain Anbu. A knife is best without emotions and without thinking. Just tell me where to cut. Isn't it? Serutobi Hirazan smoked his cigarette silently. After being silent for a long time, he slowly spoke. Sakumo, what made you change your mind? You have always been my right-hand man. I value you very much. Anbu also needs you. In fact, in the heart of Serutobi Hirazan, Hitaki Sakumo carries a very important weight. Half Hokage and half sleeves carry a lot of things. Although Hitaki Sakumo has some great skills, it does not hinder his ability to use them. With high combat prowess and high IQ, he is the perfect choice for second in command. Moonlight on Thousand Mountains Although this little fool has no sense of boundaries in what he does, some of his actions even look very funny. But when it comes to the mission, this kid's thinking and mentality are really rare. As he spoke, Hitaki Sakumo suddenly smiled. 
he remembered that this fool actually used thousand years kill on him, not to mention it was quite painful. Even with his endurance, he almost didn't scream. Better than me, the only drawback may be his fighting will. Just like what he said, he obviously has great strength, but he is very reluctant to fight. But these can't hide his edge. When Moonlight Chinchin forced him to make a choice, that serious face might be his true attitude. Such a genius knows how to hide himself. Alas, compared with him, I am really inadequate. In fact, Hitaki Sakumo also knew his status in the village and had heard rumors about him. With great strength, he doesn't care at all. After all, in his opinion, as long as his fist is strong enough, any rumors will be disproven. But after this mission, he felt that he was wrong. The situation was so critical at that time that he was confused. If he really made a mistake in a mission, how would he be treated when he returned to the village? Lord Hokage, please forgive me for my retreat. In the future, maybe I will also go to a ninja school to be a teacher, ha ha ha. My sword skills are very suitable for students to copy. After hearing this, Sarutobi Hiruzen sighed slightly. In fact, this is fine. Hitaki Sakumo, who took the initiative to retreat to the second line, is still a sharp knife in Konoha, but he can disappear from the sight of many people by retiring. This is a good thing for the village and him. Okay, but before the position of Captain Anbu is confirmed, you still need to contribute. Hitaki Sakumo nodded, this is his responsibility and he will not shirk it. Have you finished gathering information about that Sunagakar female ninja? It's done. There are almost no obstacles. Yamanaka Heichi has written down the information. As for the female ninja, she has already moved into Yugong's house under the supervision of Yugong Chinchin. Sarutobi Hiruzen took a long drag on his cigarette. You said that fool won't be tempted, right? You can actually bring an enemy ninja home. Hitaki Sakumo burst out laughing when he heard this. In fact, he also thought about it this way. But Moonlight Chinchin didn't say anything, and he was too embarrassed to point it out. Whatever, that kid learned a lot of sealing techniques from Orochimaru, and that five elements seal should be one of them. After all, his strength is not weak. That female ninja cannot make waves. I have to say that he has a good vision, what about Scorch style? It's a pretty good ability. If we can persuade her to join us in Konoha later, it will be a help to us. Furthermore, if the two of them combine in the future, they may be able to combine translucent and scorch style. It's hard to say what new blood inheritance limit will be born by then. An old man and a middle-aged man looked at each other and laughed heartily. Little did they know that the young man they said was capable and talented was currently facing three trials. Moonlight House, Chinchin. I never expected that you would actually go to the women's bathhouse and take someone away unconscious. I've always thought that you are just a daring young man, but I didn't expect you to actually be able to kidnap a woman. Samei looked at Yugong Chinchin kneeling in the yard with a sad face. Yi Kang on the side covered his mouth and smiled. Just now, she told how she came from Sand Hidden Village and how she was captured by Moonlight Chinchin. Unexpectedly, Ebi Sammy didn't care about her origin at all, but was angry at Moonlight Chinchin's behavior. This made Yi Kang feel warm in his heart. Suddenly, I felt a little surprised at the people in Konoha village. Although she is a prisoner, she is also an elite ninja with the blood inheritance limit. Do you trust her so much? Aunt Sammy, I'm not, I don't have it. I'm really here for the mission. The situation was very serious at the time. If I didn't take action, it would be too late. Yu Gong Chinchin's face was bruised and purple, and it was obvious that he had been beaten up by Fatty. HMPH, Chinchin boy, let me tell you, you have already seen everyone, how do you want Yi Kang to marry in the future? I don't care, when you become an adult, you must marry her. Yi Kang, ah, I didn't say I wanted to marry him. Moonlight Chinchin, what the hell? Although I think she is very beautiful, I don't want to give up a flower just because of a flower. The next day, at the strong request of Ebi Sami, Gekko Chizen takes Hagara to visit Konoha village. Originally, he had to report to the ninja school. After all, after returning from the mission, his classes would have to continue. Yi Kang was suddenly surprised when he heard that Yugong Chinchin was still a teacher. Are you able to be a teacher at such a young age? Hey, what do you mean by this? Haven't you heard of a saying, a master is a teacher? 
TCH, what do you teach? Ninja stealth course. Yi Kang was speechless for a moment, thinking that this boy could touch her without being noticed by her. Not to mention, he was really good at concealment. But why does this course sound so unreliable? This was Yi Kang's first time entering another village. She was used to the yellow sand and was very envious of Konoha's scenery. Green mountains and green waters, hey, why doesn't the village where she lives have such scenery? Moreover, Konoha village is very prosperous, with many small shops on the streets. What, do you think Konoha is beautiful? Ha ha ha, if you like it, just live here and don't go back. Yi Kang suddenly withdrew his gaze, even though the scenery here was beautiful. HMPH don't think about it, I'm just captured by you now. I will still go back if I have the chance. Yu Gong Chinchin looked at Yi Kang who looked stubborn and smiled slightly. After all, Yi Kang lives in Sand Hidden Village, and it is still very difficult for her to abandon her village. It's a pity that since people have been captured by him, they want to leave. No way. Ha, huh, Teacher Chinchin, you are back. Who is this? You may not meet love when you turn a corner, but you may meet a bunch of teenagers. I saw Uchiha Obito, Metkai and Lin walking towards the ninja school. In the last graduation assessment, only Kakashi graduated early and was already on a mission. As for Kai, it was because he failed the last assessment. Well, this is, my friend. Hey, Mr. Chinchin's friend. He must be very strong. Uchiha Obito's eyes suddenly lit up. He is now working hard to improve his abilities and wants to graduate smoothly next year. Not to mention Kai, he is even more energetic. Let's have a test. Since the last graduation exam, I have worked harder. Yeah, Kai. It seems that Uchiha Obito has found a new sparring partner since Kakashi disappeared. Yes, youth is about burning. Teacher Chinchin. This, female teacher. Please give me more advice. Female teacher. Yi Kang was slightly startled when he heard the name the young man in front of him called him. Teacher, I'm just a prisoner. Ha ha ha, Kai, you were right. Let's go to the school training ground. I'll ask teacher Yi Kang to train with you. Without giving Yi Kang a chance to refuse, Yu Gong Chinchin decided the next activities amidst laughter. Uchiha Obito and Kai heard this and ran directly towards the ninja school. Lin, on the other hand, said hello to Chinchin and ran after him. Hey, who promised you to train with those brats? Yi Kang was unhappy, and she did not agree. Ha ha, let's go. After all, wandering is just wandering, even though you have my seal on you. But ordinary techniques are still possible, but you have to take it easy. I don't want you to be captured by the guards. Yu Gong Chinchin shrugged. He felt that it was just a training session with a few brats, nothing serious. Then, he grabbed Yi Kang's hand and walked towards the ninja school. Hey, you fool kid, let me go, I can walk by myself. But no matter what Yi Kang said, Yu Gong Chinchin still held onto Yi Kang and walked all the way. For fear of attracting the attention of those around him, Yi Kang quickly silenced his voice, but there was a trace of imperceptible shyness on his face. Is this your ninja school? It doesn't look very good. When Yi Kang saw the ninja school in Konoha, he showed a hint of disgust. The ordinary three-story building looks very simple. Hey, do you know what simplicity is beautiful? It's enough to be able to teach and educate people. Why does it need to be so prosperous? Simple beauty. Does teaching and educating people not require prosperity? Listening to Yu Gong Chinchin's words, Yi Kang couldn't help but nodded slightly. He was right. As long as he can educate future generations, it doesn't matter how shabby he is. Tisk, why is what this kid said so surprising? Then the two went straight to the playground. Sure enough, Uchiha Obito and Kai were already ready, but I don't know if they leaked the news or were seen. At this time, there were people standing around the playground. Why are there so many people? Moonlight Chinchin, I tell you, I won't go. She was originally a prisoner, but now there are so many spectators. Who does Yi Kang regard her as? Is she an ornament? Not to mention Yi Kang, even Yu Gong Chinchin was a little surprised. Isn't it just a tutorial competition? Why are there so many people? Hey, Teacher Chinchin, it's not my fault, it's all Kai's big mouth who said it. As soon as they heard that a beautiful teacher came to school, they all came. Beautiful teacher, well, very appropriate. Yi Kang, 
you see the students are all very friendly. If that doesn't work, just go on stage. Don't worry, it's just to compete with those two little fools. That's it, let's go. Yi Kang, Yu Gong Chinchin suddenly pushed Yi Kang to the playground. He didn't care at all about the anger on Yi Kang's face. Hagara Sensei, my name is Uchiha Obito. Metke, please give me more advice. Yi Kang felt the eyes of the people around him, and then looked at the two very excited teenagers. She thought silently in her heart, You fool Yu Gong Chinchin, I will definitely avenge you this time. But what surprised her was the identity of the boy in front of her. Are they from the Uchiha clan? You know, Uchiha has always been the number one clan in Konoha. I didn't expect to see them so soon. My name is Yi Kang. My strength is, barely up to Jonan. After all, the chakra flow was sealed, and she tried it. Scorch style was a no-brainer, and some advanced ninjutsu couldn't be used. But she is the elite Jonan of Sand Hidden Village after all, and her fighting instincts and consciousness are all there. Wow, Jonan, another powerful teacher has come to our school. The students were instantly excited. It turned out that their teachers were all Chunin. There are very few Jonans, such as Moonlight Senzen, who are suddenly upgraded to Jonan. There is only one Jonan in the entire school, and he retired due to injury. The teachers frowned slightly, each being a little curious about Yi Kang's identity. Can such a young Jonan become a teacher? Also, they have not received any news of a new teacher joining the job. In this case, then I will be the referee. This competition is mainly about discussion. Be careful. These four words were said by Yu Gong Chinchin to Yi Kang. After all, her status was very special, so she still had to pay attention to the scale. Humph, I know it without you having to tell me. Just two brats. Yi Kang was very dissatisfied with Yu Gong Chinchin's attitude and snorted coldly. Uchiha Obito and Metkai moved their bodies, and then both shouted. We're on board. The two people rushed towards Yi Kang one after the other. With bare hands, is this a form of physical training? Yi Kang noticed the two men's movements immediately. Pure physical skills cannot attract Yi Kang's attention at all. What she wants to see is the talent of the Uchiha clan. But when the two rushed to her, she realized that she was careless. Konoha Tornado Metkai took the lead in launching the attack, leaping up and slamming his whip leg directly into Yi Kang's face. Uchiha Obito, on the other hand, punched Hayakura in the middle. The two of them worked together in perfect harmony. Yi Kang felt the strong wind caused by the two attacks and was slightly surprised. Are you strong in physical skills? As an elite Jonin, even if her current strength is reduced, two Jenin cannot compete. Yi Kang's right hand was seen grabbing the right leg that Metkai was attacking, and then he smashed it down hard. Under the influence of the force, Metkai suddenly lost his balance, not to mention that his right leg was still in Yi Kang's hand. Obito, get out of the way. But Metkai did not give up resistance and shouted for Obito to retreat. And he immediately kicked out his other leg, trying to break free from Yi Kang's restraint. Yi Kang smiled slightly when he saw this, he's a good kid. However, the movement of his hands did not slow down, and he still had the power to buckle Metkai to the ground. Boom, there was a loud noise, and Metkai came into close contact with the ground. How can it be repaired? Take another blow from me. Konoha bad eyewasho. Regardless of the pain in his body, Metkai stood up again with a carp kick and launched another elbow strike. Obito, who had just escaped, returned to Yi Kang, and greeted Yi Kang again with his fist. Yi Kang did not choose to resist this time, but jumped back to avoid the two attacks. After landing, he smiled slightly. The physical skills are good, but it's a pity that they are not enough to win. Faced with Yi Kang's teasing, Kai ignored it and launched another fierce attack. Kai, pay attention to avoid. Fire style, great fireball technique. On the contrary, Uchiha Obito immediately started forming seals after the first wave of Taijutsu attacks. Then a fireball about one meter in diameter erupted instantly. Oh, fire style, it's not bad. Unfortunately, it's still not enough. Kai, who originally launched an attack on Yi Kang, jumped up high immediately. This time, Hayakura was directly exposed to Uchiha Obito's great fireball jutsu. But Yi Kang didn't panic at all and formed the seal quickly. Fire style, the art of fireworks. Same fire style, 
completely different release method. Four light spots suddenly lit up around Yi Kang, and then the light spots turned into flames. Under the control of Yi Kang, the four flames collided with the great fireball technique one after another. Yu Gong Chinchin raised his eyebrows slightly when he saw Yi Kang's move. I thought to myself, isn't this just a low-end version of Scorch style? You must know that Yi Kang's blood inheritance limit is Scorch style, which is a combination of fire and wind attributes. And Yi Kang's specialty ninjutsu is called, Scorch style steam kill. When used, something similar to a fireball will appear around the user. Once it comes into contact with the opponent's body in close combat, it will evaporate the water in the opponent's body and turn it into a mummy. It is very similar to the fire style technique that Yi Kang is releasing now. After two consecutive flames collided with the Great Fireball, Obito's Great Fireball technique disappeared. TCH, the same fire style. It's so powerful. Obito wiped the sweat from his face. The fire style just now was intercepted, and he felt great pressure. After cancelling Obito's Great Fireball technique, the remaining two fireworks flew directly towards Metkai. Using high-temperature flames to force Kai back, the two teenagers stood together again. However, he completely lost the calmness he had at the beginning, and his face was filled with shock. As this Jonin, why do I feel that she is stronger than Teacher Chinchin? Off the field, Yu Gong Chinchin was instantly embarrassed. But he didn't defend himself. In terms of lethality, Yi Kang was indeed much more powerful than him. Are you coming yet, two brats? Yi Kang felt comfortable all over after exercising a little. Unknowingly, even his tone became much more relaxed. Okay, stop fighting. Teacher Yi Kang didn't use any force at all, otherwise you two would have been lying down long ago. Obito, Kai, you have made progress. But it's not enough. We need to continue working hard. Yu Gong Chinchin stepped out and stopped the fight. After all, there was no point in continuing the fight. Yi Kang's combat experience is so rich that even if Chakra is restricted, Tu Jenin cannot fight against him. HMPH, Moonlight Chinchin, you are really annoying. I just felt something. Before Obito could speak, Yi Kang's voice of dissatisfaction rang out. Following the sound, he saw that this beauty's face was full of dissatisfaction. Haha, <laughs> as long as it's appropriate. Don't forget, your current status still needs attention. Yu Gong Chinchin didn't dare to let Yi Kang have fun, after all, her identity was still very special. At this time, Yi Kang also thought that he was still a prisoner, and curled his lips helplessly. Okay, let's all disperse. Stop hanging around, aren't there any classes? Moonlight Chinchin dispersed the onlookers, and then led Yi Kang out of the ninja school. So, is our ninja school in Konoha better than the one in your Sunagakur village? Yi Kang smiled disdainfully upon hearing this. Not even close, a bunch of brats. Facing Yi Kang's words, Yu Gong Chinchin didn't say anything, but just smiled. Afterwards, the two continued to wander around the village. From busy commercial streets to residential areas. Yu Gong Chinchin often hangs out in the village, so he is still very popular. Yi Kang couldn't help but be a little surprised when he saw Yu Gong Chinchin greeting acquaintances one after another. I thought to myself, is this guy so popular? What, are you scared by my popularity? As a human being, you should make friends while you are alive, especially young people like us should make more friends. More friends, more paths. Yi Kang couldn't help but fell into deep thought after listening to Yu Gong Chinchin's words. She has always been alone. Even if she is doing tasks with her teammates, she still feels very lonely. Friends, looks good. Where are the Uchiha and Hyuga clans? Can you take me to see them? Ha, huh, why do you want to see Uchiha and Hyuga? Yu Gong Chinchin was slightly confused, and even started to think with his mind. In a thousandth of a second, he had already begun to guess Yi Kang's thoughts. As a ninja from Sunagakur village, it was not a good thing to be curious about the two bloodline limited families in Konoha. You must know that Uchiha and Hyuga's precautions are very strong, otherwise there are so many people who are curious about them, how come none of them succeeded? He didn't want Yi Kang to do anything extraordinary under his supervision. Just out of curiosity, forget it if you don't let me go. Is it just out of curiosity? Or does it have some other intention? Moonlight Chinchin is a bit uncertain. Just then Chome came to his rescue. Chinchin boy, go with confidence. 
Her mood is very stable and there is no fluctuation. I guess I just want to visit the blood successor limit. After all, I am a ninja who has the blood successor limit. Although my chakra cannot sense malice like Kurama, I also have my own special feature, which is to sense emotions. As long as I'm here to take care of you, you can flirt with girls boldly and confidently. Chomei, what a good brother. Why didn't you tell me earlier if you had this ability? It would have made me worry in vain. No matter who we meet in the future, you have to help feel it, which is conducive to interpersonal communication. In fact, Moonlight Chinchin is really not afraid of Yi Kang escaping. He has backup plans. Yi Kang has his flying thunder god technique. Want to run? Go faster than him first. Let's go, I'll take you to Hyuga first, Uchiha, I don't know anyone. Seeing that Gekko Chizen actually agreed to take her to visit the two major families of Hyuga and Uchiha, Yi Kang's heart was moved. Aren't you afraid that I'm here to find out information? Let's investigate. With two such big families, are we still afraid of people looking at us? Moonlight Chinchin shrugged and said to himself, You see, you are full of curiosity, Chome has already fed it back to me. I have multiple cheats around me. If I can't deal with you, I won't be able to survive. Let's go, Hyuga's clan is not in the center of the village. After all, it's such a big family. With that said, Yu Gong Chinchin led Yi Kang towards the distance. Passing by the bustling streets, away from the hustle and bustle, we gradually entered a quiet forest. Not far away stands a clan emblem representing the Hyuga family. Here we are, further ahead is Hyuga's tribe. Hyuga and Uchiha are both very proud. When the time comes, look more and talk less. Although Yugong Chinchin knows many Hyuga ninjas, it is undeniable that this is a very proud clan. As the two entered Hyuga's tribe, they began to meet Hyuga's tribe members one after another. These people were wearing long robes and looked very kind. Especially after seeing the moonlight over the mountains, many of them showed a smile. Hey, isn't this Chinchin? How come you have time to come to the Hyuga clan? Although the Kampo medicine you sent last time didn't taste very good, it was very effective. An old man even greeted Yugong Chinchin. Haha, isn't this Mr. Yamazaki? Good medicine tastes bitter. By the way, where are Hiyashi and Hazashi? I'm looking for them. Yi Kang is already numb. Why does this kid in front of him know people everywhere? And judging from the situation, he seems to have helped Hyuga. Young patriarch, I'm at the training ground with Hazashi. Come to my house for tea when you have time. Okay, I'll leave first, Mr. Yamazaki. Now that he knew where the target was, Yugong Chinchin took Yi Kang towards the training ground after exchanging pleasantries. Are you curious? Actually, it's nothing. I like to wander around. I came to the Hyuga tribe last time. That old man Yamazaki happened to be seriously ill. As for me, I also know some knowledge about medicinal materials, so I went to prepare a medicine for him. Speaking of this, Yugong Chinchin laughed himself. He doesn't know anything about traditional Chinese medicine. He simply knew a lot of medicinal materials from eating too much in his previous life. For example, Skullcap, Honeysuckle, Aster, Mulberry Bark, Dandelion, Bupleurum, and Forsythia. As a result, we are so familiar. Let's go, I'll take you to meet my acquaintances. On the training ground, two young men who looked to be in their early 20s were having a great time playing back and forth. Hey, Hiyashi, Hazashi, where are you sparring? A sudden sound interrupted the competition between the two. The two of them knew who the person was without even turning their heads or rolling their eyes. Chinchin, how come you have time to come to the Hyuga clan? Yeah, I heard from Guangren, you just came back from a mission, why don't you have a good rest? After the two stopped, they both turned around and looked back. The eldest Hiyashi, the second eldest Hazashi. Hey, isn't there a beautiful girl who is curious about Hyuga? I'll take her to visit. The two were slightly startled when they heard this. Then he showed a hint of helplessness. Chinchin, this should be the ninja from Sunagakur village you brought back from this mission. Although I'm under your supervision, isn't it good to be so free? Hayuga Hiyashi is a very strict person. In his opinion, since he was captured by Konoha, he should behave like a prisoner. Instead of being supervised, you can just wander around Konoha. Hey, don't I take care of this? Besides, you Hayuga have such a big family, you are still afraid of people looking at you. 
Hiyashi showed a hint of arrogance and a confident momentum in an instant. Of course I'm not afraid. I, the Hyuga clan, don't care at all about others coveting me. No matter who covets us, we will respond with the strongest gentle fist. Hazashi on the side smiled and patted his brother on the shoulder. Chinchin is joking with you, don't take it so seriously. If I'm right, this is Yi Kang, Scorch style, right? Compared to Hiyashi, Hazashi is much kinder. Yes, Scorch style, but it can't be used now. I sealed it. Yi Kang looked at the two people in front of her curiously. Based on her experience, the two people in front of her were both at Jonan level. And the aura is very powerful, she is no match for the opponent without Scorch style. Hiyashi suddenly opened his eyes. Oh, the five elements seal. The flow of chakra has been restricted, Chin Chin, you are very cruel. Yi Kang was slightly startled and looked at Hyuga Hiyashi's eyes covered with veins. This is Byakugan, can you see through the flow of chakra? Hiyashi doesn't have the same patience with Yi Kang as he does with Moonlight Chin Chin, and he doesn't even bother to explain. Ha ha ha, you are still as rigorous as ever, Hiyashi. Okay, I'm just taking her for a walk, and I'm going back now. Let's take a bath together when we have time later. When Hiyashi heard the word, bath, he almost fell down. Looking at Yu Gong Chinchin, his eyes were filled with speechlessness. After coming out of the Hyuga tribe, Yu Guang Chinchin took Yi Kang towards the Uchiha tribe. Yi Kang remained silent on the way. Also possessing the blood inheritance limit, Yi Kang is very aware of the power of those eyes. Suddenly, Yi Kang remembered that the person in front of her was also a blood successor ninja, but she didn't know what his blood successor limit was yet. Moonlight Chinchin, what about you? What is the limit of your blood inheritance? Yu Gong Chinchin stopped when he heard this and looked at Yi Kang with a joking look on his face. The limit of my blood inheritance? Guess, I don't want to guess, just tell me quickly. Yi Kang urged dissatisfiedly, but her eyes widened in the next second, because the moonlight chinchin just disappeared under her gaze. Even the breath is gone. Moonlight chinchin, where have you been? Me, I'm right next to you. Suddenly, the voice of Yu Gong chinchin rang in her ears, frightening Yi Kang to dodge to the side. Ha ha ha, are you shocked? This is the limit of my blood inheritance. I also relied on this hand to kidnap you from Sunagakar village. After releasing the escape, Moonlight Chinchin appeared in front of Yi Kang again. Yi Kang stared blankly at the Moonlight Mountains in front of him, with mixed feelings in his heart. Is there any blood inheritance limit for the concealment effect? Not only the body shape, but also the breath is hidden, no wonder he can touch around me without being discovered. Through escape, my blood inheritance limit can perfectly hide myself from anyone's discovery. Not even Hyuga and Uchiha's pupil techniques can do it. Having said this, Yu Gong Chinchin also raised his head very confidently. Who would have thought that when he just started pretending to be 13, he would immediately receive uninvited guests? Oh, who is this guy who talks so shamelessly? My Uchiha's Sharingan can see through any jutsu, so who do you think you are? A sudden sharp shout sounded from behind the two of them. When the two looked back, they saw two ninjas with the Uchiha fan clan emblem on their bodies looking at them with annoyance. Yeah, this is bad. Who is the most difficult person to deal with in Konoha? That Moonlight Chinchin probably said it was Danzo without even thinking about it. But if you want to say who is the most unreasonable in Konoha, it must be Uchiha. After all, in their eyes, Tian Laor, their second son, no one is their opponent. Who do I think I am? Isn't this Moonlight Thousand Mountains? How dare a child of a down-and-out family speak so brazenly that he wants to challenge Uchiha's authority? At this time, the Third War has not yet begun, and Uchiha's position is not as miserable as it will be in the future. Now they are still the largest family in Konoha, and they are arrogant. The crowd is so impressive that you just have to use your nostrils to see people. It is the younger generation of Uchiha, the same generation as Moonlight Chinchin. Uchiha Ao, Uchiha Morito, you two have very good ears. Can you hear it from such a distance? I really doubt whether you two have awakened Sharingan or Sharing Ear. Yu Gong Chinchin is not a good tempered person. He has always respected others as much as he should respect me. But if someone bullies him, he is not a soft persimmon. Do you want to spar? 
I'll show you that Uchiha's authority is not something a third-rate ninja like you can challenge. I have to say, this talker is really powerful. A third-rate ninja's sentence directly burned out the CPU of Yu Gong Chinchen. Yi Kang on the side laughed out loud. After all, Gekko Senzen is also a Jonin directly supported by the Hokage. In your Uchiha's mouth, he has become a third-rate ninja. Okay, I'm a third-rate ninja, right? Come on, I have to let you call me daddy. Gekko Chizen knew very well that he could not be reasoned with at all with Uchiha. Just use your fists. HMPH. Don't say we bully you, I can handle it by myself. Pull him down quickly. Yu Gong Chinchin smiled disdainfully when he heard this, and the next second he moved. When the penetration was activated, the whole person disappeared directly in front of the three people. Ha, what a trick, Sharingan. Uchiha Ching was not afraid at all, and directly activated Sharingan to find the whereabouts of Moonlight Chinchin. Uchiha Ching is 17 years old this year and is already a Sharingan of San Magatama. He said that his talent is really good. But it is a pity that his opponent is a person who cares about safety and concealment all day long. Moonlight Chinchin, who had opened his escape, was not afraid of Sharingan at all, and just walked towards Uchiha Ao step by step. On the contrary, Uchiha Ching was completely confused after opening Sharingan. What about people? Why can't I see others? It shouldn't be, even if you can't see people, Chakra can still see it. HMPH, how dare you stab me like this? I'm not afraid even if Fugaku comes. Not to mention you, a little follower. The pinnacle of Uchiha's younger generation is Fugaku, and others cannot even enter the eyes of Moonlight Chinchin. Only his voice is heard but his person is not seen. Even Uchiha Murin was shocked at this time. He also turned on Sharingan and did not see Moonlight Chinchin. Call me dad now, and I will spare you too, otherwise, he he he. A threatening voice sounded in their ears. Don't even think about it. Murin, stay on your side and guard against him. Uchiha Ao and Uchiha Marihi instantly defended back to back. Okay, you asked for it. I saw Yu Gong Chinchin walking slowly to the side of the two of them. Then the penetration was released, at the moment when the two were about to react. Call out, call out. The figures of the two people disappeared instantly. It was the Flying Thunder God technique activated by Yu Gong Chinchin that directly sent the two of them away. As for where to send it, ha 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 ha. Moonlight Chinchin, where did you take them? Why are they missing? The sudden disappearance of two people really shocked Yi Kang's outlook on life. They have gone to a place that suits them. Let's go, Uchiha, let's not go either, otherwise I'm afraid we won't be able to get out. I'll take you to eat the best ramen in Konoha. It's guaranteed to be delicious. After two Uchiha episodes, Yi Kang also roughly understood Uchiha's personality, and no longer insisted on visiting Uchiha. I was taken by Gekko Chizen to eat Ichiraku ramen. At this moment, Yu Gong Chinchin received two notification tones. Ding, I noticed that the host sent Uchiha Ao and Uchiha Marido into the women's hothouse, causing public anger among women. Special reward of plus one physical strength. Ding, Uchiha Ao, Uchiha Marido, were discovered by passers by while escaping, instantly became famous, special bonus of physical strength plus one. Humph, little guy, fight him. If you don't let you two be famous in the village, he just won't be the Moonlight Chinchin. It's just a pity that I can't go and see it in person. Hey, maybe the two of them are wet and still wearing bras. Hey, I haven't seen the materials for a long time. I have to find a day to collect the materials. Clenching his fists and feeling his body grow again, Yu Gong Chinchin was still very satisfied. A few days later, Yu Gong Chinchin was invited to Hitaki's house as a guest. Walking into Hitaki's house, although Hitaki Sakumo is famous in Konoha, his house is not big. It's similar to the Yugong family. After all, they are a down-and-out family. There are only a few people left, so it's useless to have such a big house. Of course, he can't know that Yi Kang is right beside him, this sentence is completely redundant, and I don't know why I wrote such a sentence. Is this the home of Konoha White Fang? It looks very ordinary. TCH, what do you know? Real strong men disdain to indulge in extravagance and wealth. Yi Kang shut up instantly. In the past few days, she had understood that no matter what she said, Yu Gong Chinchin could reply to her with extremely rich eloquence. 
Her words are not as good as the moonlight. Teacher Chin Chin, you are here. This is Mr. Hayakura. Obito and Kai both told me about fire style ninjutsu. It's a very powerful fire style ninjutsu. If I have the chance, I would like to compete with you. Welcoming the guest is Kakashi. Long time no see, this kid has grown a little taller. Hey, Kakashi, how's it going? Have you been promoted to Chunin? He was joking, but Yugong Chinchin quickly clasped his hands together, and a tiger seal appeared instantly. Kakashi suddenly felt bad and quickly retreated towards the rear. But he still underestimated Yugong Chinchin's speed. With a blink of an eye, he was already behind Kakashi. Take the move, Kakashi. Konoha style. Mysteries of Taijutsu. Thousand years of killing. Kakashi. Ouch. As the millennium killing assassination comes out, Kakashi is happy to carry a bag and fly as a gift. Ha 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 ha. Kakashi, you are still too young. I'm telling you, Lord Sakumo didn't even react when I gave him a thousand year kill. You're still far behind. Yi Kang was dumbfounded. What is this and what? Ding. It is detected that the host performs the thousand year kill on Hitaki Kakashi, which increases his persistence in the thousand year kill. The special reward is plus three seals. Oh, you've made money. Sure enough, bullying someone with a good name is a huge reward. But before he could be happy for too long, he suddenly felt a chill enveloped him. The next second he ran away, but unfortunately, he was still too slow. Konoha style. Mysteries of Taijutsu. Thousand years of killing. The same slogan, the same actions, except that the person performing the spell was replaced by Hitaki Sakumo. And the goal became Moonlight Thousand Mountains. Hitaki Sakumo was so fast that Gekko Senzen was hit even before he could react. Ouch, Hitaki Sakumo, you actually attacked a junior of mine. Ouch, in the lobby, Hitaki Sakumo looked at the Moonlight Mountains twisting left and right in front of him with a smile on his face, and he was in a very good mood. Kakashi, did you see that you should learn more from your father? This thousand-year killing skill is enough for you to dominate the ninja world. Yugong Chinchin felt his little flower tremble slightly, causing him such heartbreaking pain that he almost fainted. But he still looked at Hitaki Sakumo with an unyielding expression. I thought to myself, this old boy takes revenge so quickly. This thousand years of killing is worthy of him winning the title of White Fang. The same thousand year kill, but the effect is so different. Kakashi on the side was speechless, holding his butt. What does this mean? Yugong Chinchin will kill him, and his father will kill Yugong Chinchin. Alas, poor little flower that has not yet bloomed. Yi Kang, how are you feeling these days? Is Konoha much better than you imagined? Hitaki Sakumo poured a cup of tea and handed it to Hagura. He didn't alienate her at all because of her identity. Well, it's very prosperous and quite peaceful. The main thing is that the scenery is beautiful. It is not comparable to the Kingdom of Wind. Yi Kang took the tea and took a sip. E.H. It tastes pretty good. He he he, that's good. Although you were kidnapped by us, it would be great if you were willing to join Konoha. Of course, everything depends on your wishes, but if your wish is to return to Sunagakur village, that may not work. Yi Kang nodded, knowing that Konoha would not let her go back. So she endured. As a ninja, endurance is the most important thing. And she has indeed been quite comfortable these past few days. At Gekko's house, Ebi Samemi chats with her and tells her some interesting stories. This is an experience she has never had in Sunagakur village. Moonlight Chinchin would also take time to take her to visit the scenery of Konoha village. Over the years, these were the only days when she was the most relaxed. Chinchin, I called you here this time because I want to ask your opinion on something. Gekko Chizen and Kakashi were sitting aside holding back the pain. Suddenly Hitaki Sakumo spoke to him, which surprised him. Ha, huh, ask for my opinion. I'm afraid you're not joking, you are Konoha white party. This statement made even Yi Kang frown slightly. Suddenly she discovered another characteristic of Yu Gong Chinchin, which is that he holds grudges and is petty. Ha 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 ha, you are quite angry. Isn't it your time to be in the kingdom of wind? Okay, to tell you the truth, I have resigned from the position of Captain Anbu to Master Hokage, and maybe I will go to teach in a ninja school like you. As soon as these words came out, all three people present were shocked. Kakashi looked at his father with wide eyes. In his heart, 
Hitaki Sakumo has always been the pillar of Konoha and his idol. He didn't understand why his father suddenly made such a choice. Yi Kang's pupils shrank sharply. They, enemy ninjas, knew how resounding the name of Konoha White Fang was. If the shadow represents the highest combat power of a village, then Konoha White Fang should be the second shadow of Konoha. His strength is too terrifying. Unlike the two of them, when Moonlight Chinchin heard Hitaki Sakumo's words, his first thought was, is this guy enlightened? The second thought is, this guy can't die. If Hitaki Sakumo is not dead, Konoha will have two shadow level strengths on the surface, and will have a stronger foundation in the future third ninja war. In his last life, he felt that if Hitaki Sakumo was still there during the third ninja war, a war like the Battle of Mount Kikyo on the edge of Konoha would never have happened. But why did Hitaki Sakumo want to retire? To tell you the truth, Chinchin, when you forced me into the palace, I was really confused. I don't know how to choose. I don't understand why I, who won't be timid in the face of thousands of troops, hesitate between my teammates and my mission. I thought a lot after I came back. I am no longer young and I don't have the decisiveness I had when I was young. So I chose to semi-retreat. Chinchin, I want to say thank you for this. After all, it was because of you that I didn't make a choice that I regret deeply. Having said this, Hitaki Sakumo handed a cup of tea to Gekko Chizen. This scene was really beyond Yugong Chinchin's expectations. But the problem Hitaki Sakumo talked about was also the problem that killed him in the original work. This man as powerful as a shadow actually had a heart of glass. As for my retreat, Lord Hokage has approved it. When the subsequent Captain Anbu takes office, I will officially step down. I will be an ordinary ninja then, and teaching is a good choice. Having said this, he looked at his son again. Before I knew it, the boy was almost six years old, so fast. Ha, huh, if a person like you resigns from office, what will happen to Anbu? I'm not saying that, although Anbu sounds good now, they really can't do it without your sharp knife. Gekko Senzen's words caused Hitaki Sakumo to nod, and a smile with unknown meaning appeared on his face the next second. So, I recommend you to Hokage-sama. You join Anbu and start from scratch. Moonlight Chinchin. I know it right away. As soon as I entered the door, I felt my right eyelid keep twitching. I originally thought it was a thousand-year-old killer, but now it seems that I am short-sighted. Yi Kang. This kid can be an Anbu. Haitui. Kakashi. Anbu. Can I be an Anbu too? No, my lord Sakumo. According to you, I helped you and saved you. How can you repay kindness with hatred? I'm just an ordinary ninja, well, even though I'm an exceptionally promoted Jonin. But my combat effectiveness is almost zero and I can only run away. Isn't it nonsense for someone like me to be an Anbu? Moonlight Chinchin is going crazy. What is going on recently? Why is everything not going well? You don't have to underestimate yourself, kid. Your strength is enough to surpass ordinary Jonin. Although you haven't reached the ranks of elite Jonin, you won't be far away. You are still young after all. Don't worry, Anbu's job is not as serious as you think. Besides, there is another benefit to entering Anbu. Saying that, Hitaki Sakumo looked at Yi Kang aside. Seeing this, Yi Kang was confused for a while, pointed at himself very uncertainly and said, Me. Yes, after all, you are a ninja from Sunagakar village, and your status in Konoha is that of a prisoner. Ordinary ninjas are incapable of contacting you. If Yugong Chinchin still wants to continue to be your observer, then Anbu is undoubtedly the best choice. Otherwise, when someone knows your identity, they may not be able to protect you. Shimura Danzo, can you just give me your ninja number? Okay. Moonlight Chinchin was silent. He is obviously on the side of the Hokage, so it is inevitable that he will get into trouble on the other side. Hey, although Konoha seems very peaceful and harmonious, there are also some conspirators behind the scenes. Shimura Danzo, you can also give me your ninja number directly. When will it be reported? It depends on your time, the sooner the better, otherwise if the other side really attacks, her situation will not be good. Yi Kang lowered his head, and Kakashi, who was still a child, glanced at the elder sister next to him in surprise. Unexpectedly, this person turned out to be a ninja from Sunagakar village. Chinchin Nisan is quite powerful. Can such a ninja be caught just as quickly as he wants? 
What, are you surprised? Your brother Chinchin is very capable. Kakashi, you still have a long way to go. I heard you signed up for this year's Chunin exam. Kakashi nodded. Originally, he wanted to give his father a surprise, but now it seems that he can't hide his affairs from him at all. Very well, it's good to be motivated, but don't take it lightly. You have to understand the truth that there are people outside the world. Listening to his father's preaching, Kakashi seemed helpless. When did my old father start nagging like this? Hey, you know Kakashi is only six years old. Six-year-old Chunin, what else do you want? Young man, would you still be a young man if you weren't arrogant? Yu Gong Chinchin suddenly came out to fight for Kakashi. After all, Kakashi is really capable. If you become an elite Jonin in the future, why don't you remember your own merits? He he he, you are defending him. Actually, if you are not an Anbu, there is another way to go, and that is to become the leader Jonin. But I think if it's you, Anbu is more suitable for you. Leading the team Jonin, Moonlight Chinchin couldn't help but have several faces appear in his mind. For example, Kai, Shiranui Genma and others, hey, forget it, they are all problem children. Anbu is just Anbu, as long as it is not the root. Okay, I'll report to Master Hokage tomorrow. By the way, Lord Sukumo, do you have any secrets to the Thousand Year Kill? Why am I so less effective than you when I use it? Kakashi's eyes flashed instantly, and it was obvious that he was also very interested in this topic. Yi Kang rubbed his forehead feebly. Every two ninjas in Konoha village were like this. Ah, how did such a village become the number one ninja village? In the evening, return to Yu Gong's house. Yu Gong Chinchin looked at his younger brother who was still crawling on the floor and showed a smile. Hai Fang, you have to grow up quickly. I'm waiting for you to become famous. By then, I will be able to be popular and drink spicy food. Ebisumi and Yagora on the side instantly rolled their eyes. Moonlight Chinchin, do you really want to do Anbu? Although the villages are different, there is also Anbu in Sunagakar village. She knew exactly what Anbu did, and she always felt that Yugong Chinchin was not the material at all. What else should I do? Hand you over, pull him down. It's just Anbu. Although I don't take the lead in the battle, it's not that easy for others to kill me. Yugong Chinchin said without raising his head while teasing his brother. Just then, Chomei appeared again. Chinchin, that girl's mood has fluctuated just now, and she's a little worried. Yu Gong Chinchin was slightly startled, worried, worried about him. Or, while he was meditating, Ebisumi directly made the issue public. Hey, Yi Kang, there's something wrong with your face. Don't you worry about that kid anymore. Ha 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 ha. Ebisumi's character is carefree and straightforward, and she directly reveals what's on Yi Kang's mind. Yu Gong Chinchin couldn't help but look at the sound, and sure enough, there was a trace of worry on Yi Kang's face, which was very obvious. Don't worry, even without you, I will have such a day sooner or later. After all, the shadow in our village is very evil. There's no way he's going to let me go. Here is Nseru Tobi, who was still wandering around at night in the Hokage building, suddenly sneezed. I thought, it must be Gekko Chinchin or Jiraiya who scolded him again. Yi Kang spat directly, who is worried about you? Humph, stop being so sentimental. Gekko Chizen and Ebisumi looked at each other and laughed. The whole Yugong family was full of laughter. The next day, Moonlight Chinchin woke up and went straight to the Hokage building. Because Hitaki Sakuma was right, Hayakura was an enemy ninja after all, even though he was captured and provided information. But her identity is there. Elite Jonin, Blood Successor Limit, and Surprise Attack Captain. If Guoying knew about this, he would definitely invite the person to the root. He didn't go through all the trouble to catch the person just to make him famous. Lord Hokage, I apply to join Anbu. Serutobi Hirazan looked at the kid in front of him with a smile, and took a puff of cigarette very calmly. Have you thought about it? Well, I've thought about it. Okay, at the same time tomorrow, I will take you to Anbu to report. Yu Gong Chinchin nodded. Since he decided to be Anbu, he would not hesitate. Anyway, his purpose is to fight. It is impossible to fight. If you want to run, he will definitely be the first. After leaving the Hokage building, he didn't go home or go to school. Instead, he headed straight to Orochimaru's house. Teacher, I'm here. Oh, 
Mr. Chinchin still knows that there is a teacher like me. How many days have it been since the mission came back that you thought of me? Orochimaru's gloomy voice sounded from the room, and then he walked out of the room slowly and looked at his good apprentice. Hey, sensei, it's not like you don't know that I have to keep an eye on that Sunagakur ninja. I finally found time to come see you. Orochimaru smiled disdainfully. I believe you, you little naughty little fool is very bad. Do you really think I don't know the details of that ninja? If you want to be Anbu, just calm down. Ha, huh, how did Orochimaru know? Do you really think it was Hitaki Sakumo's idea for you to become Anbu? HMPH, if you don't join Anbu, you won't be able to protect that woman. Tell me about you. You were able to capture a woman during a mission. If it weren't for the fact that that woman is a blood successor, I would have to teach you a lesson. Gekko Chinchin was slightly surprised. Unexpectedly, it was Orochimaru who suggested that he be an Anbu. His perception of Orochimaru changed for a while. But the next second, he took back his previous thoughts. Remember to send me three copies of her blood, Scorch style. A good research subject, such a blood inheritance limit must be firmly grasped in one's own hands. Yes, Orochimaru is still the same Orochimaru, he only focuses on scientific research. Chapter 51 I heard that you used the five elements seal on that female ninja. It seems that you have also finished learning the sealing techniques scroll I gave you. Orochimaru is very satisfied with Moonlight Chinchin's learning ability. No matter what techniques are taught to him, he learns them very quickly. The only drawback is that he has no talent at all for scientific research. Alas, what a pity. By the way, teacher, can you tell me about Danzo? If there is anyone in Konoha village who knows Shimura Danzo best, it is undoubtedly Sarutobi Hiruzen, but he cannot ask this Hokage-sama. Then you can only find a way out from your own teacher. Ha, huh, this is what Hitaki Sakumo told you. Now that he has told you, let me tell you a little bit about it. Hitaki Sakumo, am I just taking the blame? Konoha has more than just ninja forces and Anbu on the surface. There is also a group of forces named Root, and their commander is Shimura Danzo. I won't tell you more. Just remember, try not to deal with him as much as possible. It won't do you any good. As he spoke, Orochimaru showed a hint of coldness on his face. When Gekko Chizen saw Orochimaru like this, he immediately understood that his teacher had already been in contact with Danzo. It seems that he really needs to be more careful in the future. He is fine now that someone is protecting him. Later, if Orochimaru defects, his situation will not be good. Okay, go back if you have nothing to do. The techniques I taught you are enough for you to use for a while. Also, bring me the blood as soon as possible. Orochimaru still had experiments to do, so he immediately issued an eviction order. That teacher, I think my thinking has been sharp and clear lately. I can definitely help you conduct scientific research together. How about we try again? Suddenly Yugong Chinchin turned into an excited face, exuding a confident aura, causing Orochimaru to look slightly sideways real, absolutely true. Well, if that's the case, that's a good thing. In this case, you can try dissecting a frog first. If you pass, I'll give you another chance. Okay, I will definitely pass the teacher's test. Moonlight Chinchin, it's dissection again. Forget about dissection, why are they always frogs? Can't you change something? No wonder you, Orochimaru, are fighting against Jiraiya. You know that Jiraiya is backed by Toad, so you can kill him. But in order to enter Orochimaru's laboratory again, he risked his life, and it was just dissection. He did it. In fact, he is not really ignorant, but his purpose of entering the laboratory is very impure. Is he going for the experiment? That was for Orochimaru's research results. Unfortunately, he was discovered after taking some medicine last time, so he had no choice but to pretend to be ignorant and let Orochimaru blast him out. This time, Gaudi calmed down, at least not until he stole something better. Hiss, I have to say that the Kusanagi sword is really good, but he doesn't know swordsmanship. It seems that he will have to visit Hitaki Sakumo again if he has the opportunity in the future to see if he can secretly learn Hitaki sword skills. While thinking and dissecting, a frog was soon dismembered. Teacher, I've done it. Orochimaru turned his head slightly, looked at the dismembered frog and nodded secretly. 
Although the effect was not up to standard, it was indeed much better than before. It seems that this guy still attaches great importance to scientific research. Yes, it is good to have such a heart. Moreover, with his blood inheritance limits and abilities, he is a good disciple. In this way, Gekko Chizen once again entered Orochimaru's laboratory. Unlike before, this time there were many more petri dishes in Orochimaru's laboratory. This was a treasure in Yugong Chinchin's eyes. If he guessed correctly, these culture dishes should be first-generation cell culture experiments. Bear it, you must bear it, Hokage building. What, Anbu? Here is an, I said that boy should be left to me. Shimura Danzo was about to explode. Just now, he came to the Hokage office and wanted to transfer Yakura to the root. After all, such a prisoner, if used properly, would be helpful to both Sunagakur village and him in the future. With his roots in the Grand Master spell, he felt that with his strength, he could pull Yi Kang into his team. As for the identity of the captives, haha, after joining the roots, aren't they from Konoha? But what did he hear? Moonlight Chinchin joined the Hokage's direct Anbu and placed Yi Kang in his care list. This undoubtedly shattered Danzo's illusions, how could he not be angry? Danzo, watch your words, Gekko Senzen is a Jonin in the village, and now he has joined Anbu. Yi Kang was also captured from Sand Hidden Village, so he should be under his care. As for Yi Kang's follow-up treatment, it all depends on her own situation. If a blood successor limited ninja can join us in Konoha, it won't be a problem. Serutobi Hirazan looked at Danzo's defeat. He was so happy that he even spoke more forcefully. Old fool, you keep tripping me up, can't you do it this time? Ha 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 ha. What about the information? Don't forget, she is a ninja from Hidden Sand Village, and the information in her head is the most important. My roots can definitely dig out information from her mind that will benefit us. Danzo still refused to give up, but how could Hirazan Serutobi let him succeed? From Serutobi's point of view, Hayakura is already a member of Konoha as soon as he enters Konoha, it's just a matter of spending more time. After all, with the little fool Gekko Kianzen here, he believed that Chinchin would successfully capture Yi Kang and bring a very aggressive blood successor ninja to Konoha. The most important thing is that if Yugong Chinchin wins over, Yi Kang will also stand on his side and will not give Danzo a chance at all. No need, the information about Sand Hidden Village was already obtained on the first day Yi Kang was captured. Well, it's right here. Serutobi Hirazan casually took out a report, which contained information about Sunagakur Village. This time Serutobi Hirazan took another step, but Danzo was so angry that he couldn't speak. He could only leave a cold snort that shook the room, then turned and left. Looking at his leaving figure, Serutobi Hirazan laughed. Danzo, I win this time. Ha 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 ha. When the laughter disappeared, Serutobi Hirazan showed a trace of solemnity on his calm face. The war is coming. Hey, the movements of Sunagakur village and Kumogakur have been figured out. The next step is how to cope. As for Iwagakur. Onoki, let's play again. These days, Moonlight Chinchin is having a great time. I went to the laboratory when I had nothing to do. I have to say that Orochimaru is indeed a genius. This is true whether it is in technology development or various research. Teacher, I don't quite understand. Can blood be created? Yugong Chinchin asked, but he had another idea in his heart. Of course blood can be created, otherwise where would Yamato come from? Haha, <laughs> this is the topic I am studying, whether the blood inheritance limit can be artificially created. If it can be produced, then more powerful blood succession limits can be reproduced. Even, life science, immortality science. In the past few days, Orochimaru has fully accepted Gekko Chizen into his experiment. Even though Moonlight Chinchin is just a novice, Orochimaru is very satisfied with his hard work. Different from his previous recklessness, Yugong Chinchin was much more steady when he entered the laboratory this time. Although he is still very slow to learn, he can already give him a start. The days of scientific research are lonely, so having such a disciple to accompany him is not a bad thing. Master Orochimaru, Master Hokage wants you and Gekko Senzen to come over. Suddenly a voice sounded from outside the door. Orochimaru, who was doing research happily, frowned slightly. On the side, Yugong Chinchin walked out of the door very consciously. Looking at Anbu wearing a mask outside the door, 
Yu Gong Chinchin understood that something must have happened again, otherwise Orochimaru would not have been used. We'll go right away. Did Hokage-sama say anything? Anbu pondered for a moment and said, it's about Yenian village. Yu Gong Chinchin nodded, thinking, what a troubled time, Kumogakur and Sunagakur have obtained information, and now Iwagakur is here again. Hey, it's really uncomfortable to be surrounded on three sides. Let's go, Chinchanjin. Orochimaru also heard Anbu's words in the room, immediately put down his work and walked out slowly. Then the master and apprentice followed Anbu to the Hokage building. The atmosphere in Hokage's office was very heavy at this time. Orochimaru, you're here. Um, Orochimaru was still taciturn, but Hiruzen Serutobi didn't care at all. After all, he knew very well what kind of character his disciple was. According to Frontline Intelligence, Iwagakur suddenly sent many ninjas into the territory of Grass Country. The person taking the lead is the Five Tails Jinchuriki Han from Iwagakur. Serutobi Hiruzen took out a scroll with blood stains. It was obvious that this was the information that the spies had obtained in exchange for their lives. Jinchuriki, if I remember correctly, there was no Jinchuriki before Five Tails. Orochimaru participated in the Second Ninja War. At that time, the Jinchuriki sent by Iwagakur village only had four tails, not five tails. Well, that's why I called you here. The current situation is that there is a new five tails Jinchuriki in Iwagakur village, and they can already initially use the power of the tailed beasts. As for their motives for entering the country of grass, I don't need to say more. Serutobi Hiruzen's face was very heavy. Jinchuriki played a vital role in the direction of a war. On the side, Yu Gong Chinchin secretly thought that if he calculated correctly, there should be something else to do with calling them here this time. And if he guessed correctly, it should be related to Nine Tails. Orochimaru, I need your help. Mito Sama's body can no longer hold on. We must ensure the existence of Nine Tails so that we can deter other countries. Sure enough, just as Moonlight Chinchin thought, the replacement of Nine Tails Jinchuriki is now. As for the candidate, wasn't it decided early on? Also belongs to the Uzumaki clan, Uzumaki Kashina. Orochimaru was not surprised by Nine Tails. After all, he could not imagine things that could be imagined by the moonlight thousands of mountains. That's true, but it's very important for you to know. In the village, apart from Mito sama you, me, and Jiraiya are the only three who know sealing techniques best. Jiraiya is not in the village now. The only ones who can ensure the safety of the village are you and me. Serutobi Hiruzen looked at Moonlight Chinchin aside as he spoke. Kid Chinchin, I called you here because of this matter. As Orochimaru's apprentice, I saw the five elements seal you cast on Yi Kang. With sealing techniques, you also have a foundation. You will join us in this tailed beast transformation. Also involved as Minato Namikaze. He learned his sealing techniques from Jiraiya and can also help. Sure enough, there is Minato. Hey, that's right. After all, Nine Tails Jinchuriki is his lover. Master Hokage just arranges it, I'm afraid I can't be of much help. With you, here is Serutobi and Orochimaru here, he didn't believe what would happen. Don't forget, the Whirlpool clan comes with its own plug-in King Kong sealing techniques, which even Nine Tails can't compete with. But there is one thing that Yugong Chinchin is very puzzled about. Logically speaking, this matter was carried out secretly in the original work, so how could they get involved? Don't belittle yourself, you're growing up very fast. It won't be long before you become an elite janin in the village. Sakumo has high hopes for you. Okay, I will let Anbu inform you at the alternate time. You must adjust your status these days. This matter is of great importance and there must be no mistakes. Orochimaru and Gekko Chizan nodded and left the Hokage building. After they left, Serutobi Hiruzen came to Uzumaki Mito's residence alone. Mito-sama, as per your request, they have been notified. Hee <laughs> hee, thank you, monkey. But, Mito-sama, I don't quite understand. We can just do the replacement of Nine Tails in private, so why should we notify them to do it together? This is what I decided after discussing with Kashina. The child chose Minato Namikaze to protect him. Speaking of Kashina, Uzumaki Mito smiled lovingly. And I chose Gekko Chinchin just to confirm one thing. As for Orochimaru, after all Gekko Chinchin is now his disciple, it would be a safe bet to let him go with him. Monkey, 
I heard that the surrounding ninja villages have become restless recently. Sarutobi Hiraza nodded, with a trace of seriousness on his face. Don't worry, as long as I'm here, nothing will happen to Konoha village. That's good, monkey, the future will be left to you. I'm tired, just leave me alone. Sarutobi Hirazan looked at the first Hokage's wife, who dedicated her life to Konoha and became a Jinchuriki at the same time. Sarutobi had nothing but respect for her in his heart. Returning to the laboratory, Yugong Chinchin was full of thoughts. Nine Tails has the most tails and the strongest strength. It is sad that such a powerful being is repeatedly played by Uchiha. HMPH, what's so strong about a dead fox? Can he fly? Can he spit out phosphorus powder? Chinchin boy, let me tell you, even if Kurama is here, Lousy won't look at him. The awesome guy catches up and hits me. I keep flying and he can't do anything to me. Chome's sour voice suddenly sounded, and his words were full of disdain for nine tails. Ha ha ha, calm down, Chome, let him be strong, as long as we are happy. Are bugs still to your liking these days? Of course Yugong Chinchin would not be jealous of nine tails. What's so great about nine tails? He's just a stinky fox with a bad temper. Probably no one is his cup of tea except for the talkative Naruto. Homemade Chome is still the best. Hey, I'm just complaining. The bugs lately are all big and leaky, which is pretty good. I have to say, Chinchin, you are a jack of all trades. You are so good at raising insects. Apart from fighting, Moonlight Chinchin is just doing a line of work, raising insects is nothing. Just when he was chatting with Chongming, Orochimaru suddenly asked, Chinchin kun, what do you think of tailed beasts? For a moment, both Moonlight Chinchin and Chome looked at Orochimaru. Tailed beast, how can I watch it? Standing and watching, sitting and watching. I don't have any opinion. Although the tailed beast is very strong, it is difficult to control it. Those who cannot control the power of tailed beasts will not be able to become Jinchuriki for long, let alone have fighting power. The polite reply made Orochimaru nod. In my opinion, the tailed beast is an external force after all. Since it is an external force, it is not reliable. Only the power that is truly in your own hands is absolute. Just like your blood succession limit, like your flying thunder god. Although it doesn't look as good as the tailed beast, it has endless potential. This is very true, look at Namikaze Minato, with one hand flying thunder god directly past you Orochimaru became Hokage. Even tailed beast jade and tailed beasts can be transferred. This exaggerated ability, hey, it can't be compared. To this day, he doesn't understand how Minato transferred the tailed beast jade. It is no exaggeration to say that even though he now has Chome's help, he trembles at the thought of moving such a large nine tails away. How much chakra does it take to do it? Not to mention, Namikaze Minato is not a Jinchuriki, so how terrifying is his chakra? It can't be compared, it can't be compared. It's a pure natural plug-in, and it's even scarier than him who has a plug-in. Not to mention Naruto in the later period. The special physique of the Uzumaki clan made him have an absurd amount of chakra. Otherwise, have you ever seen someone who can create 1800 clones as soon as he gets started? I guess even if Senju Tobarama was alive, he wouldn't be able to figure out why a kid could create so many clones. Okay, I guess we are just going through the motions regarding Nine Tails. After all, the Uzumaki clan's sealing techniques are resounding throughout the ninja world, and no one can compare with them in terms of sealing techniques. Let's continue the experiment, Chinshanjin. Yu Gong Chinshan nodded. In his opinion, Nine Tails replacement would not use them at all. There are two members of the Uzumaki clan here, what's wrong with them? Then why let them go together? Strange, the land of grass. Iwagakur village garrison. Han, are you okay? A Iwagakur Jonan asked the strong man wearing armor and a hat in front of him. It's okay, Five Tails is pretty calm. This armor was made by Lord Tsuchikage himself. It can effectively suppress the power of tailed beasts. The ninja named Han stood up slowly his height of two meters giving people a sense of oppression. At the same time, the red armor looks very delicate. And he is also the Jinchuriki of five tails. With his super strong will and the armor on his body, he can perfectly suppress the power of the tailed beasts. 
It was precisely because of his strength that Tsuchikage Onoki felt confident and bold enough to let him leave the village to carry out the mission. That's good. As expected, Han's strength is still so reliable. Jonin from Iwagakur looked at Han with admiration in his eyes. You must know that Han was originally a powerful ninja, with super strong physique and willpower. After becoming Jinchuriki, he used this willpower to forcibly suppress the influence of Five Tails and became the number one in Iwagakur village. Too powerful Jinchuriki. The goal of this mission is to establish our own defense line in the country of grass and prepare for the attack on Konoha. When the logistics supplies are in place, let's start taking action. It has to be said that the ambition of Yenian village is very obvious, which is to prepare for the subsequent war. Regarding Nine Tails, the wait is seven days. Finally on the eighth day, Anbu knocked on Orochimaru's door again. Master Orochimaru, Master Hokage asked you and Gekko Chizen to go see him. Orochimaru and Gekko Chizen looked at each other and said at the same time, here it comes, Nine Tails is changing. Inside a house outside Konoha village. This is the room specially prepared by Hiruzen Serutobi for this replacement of Nine Tails. At this time, Serutobi Hiruzen, Serutobi Bawako, Uzumaki Mito, Uzumaki Kashina, and Namikaze Minato were all ready. Grandma Mito, Kashina, be good, it's okay, remember what I told you. Find love to fill it up. That way, you can be happy even if you have to live as a Jinchuriki of Nine Tails. When Uzumaki Mito said these words, he couldn't help but look at the blonde boy beside him. Namikaze Minato blushed instantly when Mito saw this. Serutobi Hiruzen on the side smiled and patted his shoulder to encourage him. Mito-sama, I will definitely take good care of Kashina, don't worry. Kashina's already red eyes were stimulated by Minato's words, and she burst into tears. Before she could speak, two figures quickly landed outside the house. Orochimaru and Gekko Senzen have arrived. Everything is ready, Mito-sama, you can start at any time. Serutobi Hiruzen opened the door, and it was Orochimaru and Gekko Chizen. No hurry, monkey, take them out first. Moonlight Chinchin, right, please come in. Suddenly everyone's eyes fell on him. Yugong Chinchin felt a sudden increase in pressure and thought, Darling, why are you looking for me? I am just an ordinary ninja, no, a ninja who thinks about being lazy every day. Since Lord Mito has spoken, Chinchin, please go in. After all, Mito's identity is there, the first Hokage's wife, who has kept nine tails in check and balance for the village her entire life. How could Hiruzen Serutobi not satisfy her request in her last moments? Soon, everyone retreated, leaving Yugong Chinchin alone in the house. He he he, I thought my perception was wrong. I didn't expect that Konoha could have such a perfect Jinchuriki like you. Moonlight Chinchin, Chomei. Because of Mito's words, Yugong Chinchin's heart was already aroused. But after all, he was a man of two generations, and his mentality was very stable. He immediately suppressed it and said very calmly, Mito-sama, what are you talking about? Jinchuriki. Me, how is this possible? Mito looked at the little guy in front of him with a smile. Although he is only a teenager, he can hide his psychology so well. It can be regarded as a rare talent. Little guy, I have lived to this age. It is not a good thing to deceive the old man. This room has been barrier-free and no sound can be heard from inside, so you can rest assured. After all, I am the first Jinchuriki of Nine Tails. Even though I have never used the power of Nine Tails, the power of Nine Tails still affects me all the time. He gave me the ability to sense malice, and he also gave me the ability to sense the same kind of people. Nine Tails Chakra is very special. This chakra is both huge and has unique abilities. My perception is not wrong, you have a tailed beast inside you. Yugong Chinchin's heart sank, no wonder he was allowed to come. It turned out to be waiting for him here. What to do? what to do. If Mito reveals that he is a Jinchuriki at this time, everything will be over. No, it's not all over. The most he can do is be imprisoned. Impossible. It's a good idea to imprison him, but do you really think that his flying thunder god technique is just a decoration? Just when Moonlight Chinchin was already thinking about it, Mito chuckled. Okay, kid, don't think about it. I have no intention of telling you about your hiding of the tailed beast. 
I don't think a person who has any ill intentions in his heart would do anything to the village that raised him. As for how you obtained the tailed beast, I'm not interested in which tailed beast you have. I'm only interested in you, Moonlight Chinchin. Having said this, Nito sighed slightly. Her words immediately shocked Yugong Chinchin's heart, and at the same time, Chomei in his body was also shocked. I have always believed that tailed beasts are not evil, so even if Nine Tails is full of malice, I still want to influence him with love. I have been competing with Nine Tails for the rest of my life. Originally I thought I had chosen the wrong path, but now it seems that I have chosen the right path. You have told me with your practical actions that not everyone passively accepts tailed beasts. There are also people who are full of love for tailed beasts and open their chests to accept them. Moonlight Chinchin, thank you for allowing me to truly see the harmonious coexistence of humans and tailed beasts. After the words fell, Uzumaki Mito, who was leaning on the bed, slightly saluted towards Moonlight Chinchin. Mito sama, what are you doing? Yu Gong Chinchin quickly stepped aside, not daring to accept this gift. Although he was a profligate person, he still knew etiquette. The old man in front of her has devoted her whole life for Konoha and peace, even if this life is very bumpy. If you can, can you tell me who the tailed beast is inside you? Of course, you don't have to tell me, after all, it's your secret. But no matter what, I ask you to take more care of Kashina in the future. Although she looks very strong, she is just a woman. Although Namikaze Minato is extremely talented and has feelings for Kashina, he is not a Jinchuriki after all and cannot understand the hardships of a Jinchuriki. Your existence is very important to her. Yu Gong Chinchin listened to the old man's request, and suddenly felt mixed feelings in his heart. He is about to die, are he still thinking about the next generation? How can he refuse? In desperation, he nodded. Seeing that he agreed, Uzumaki Mito smiled happily. Don't worry, I will leave this world after Nine Tails changes, and I will take your secrets with me. Okay, you can go out, thank you, kid. After speaking, Mito turned his gaze back and quietly waited for the last moment to arrive. Yu Gong Chinchin turned around and walked to the door. The hand that was originally preparing for the gate of opening suddenly stopped. My partner inside me, Seven Tails. His name is Chome. After the words fell, Yu Gong Chinchin pushed the door open and came out. Mito was shocked, then smiled and murmured, so the tailed beast also has a name. What a pity. Chinchanjin, you're out. Did Grandma Mito tell you anything? Seeing Yu Gong Chinchin coming out, Kashina was the first to run forward and ask. Yu Gong Chinchin looked at the girl in front of him and smiled slightly. Mito sama, please let me accompany you well. She said she knew that Jinchuriki's journey was very difficult. Minato and I are your friends. She asked me to supervise you and don't let Nine Tails affect the love in your heart. Minato on the side also chuckled when he heard this. Because Mito sama just said this to him. Kashina, let me tell you, Mito sama will definitely let Chinchin supervise you. Now it was Yugong Chinchin's turn to be stunned, and then turned to look at the wooden house behind. Mito sama, have you even thought of this? Afraid that they would become suspicious, why did you call Minato here to provide cover? Sigh, as expected, those who survived the Warring States period were all smart people. Minato, you too. Um, acting is all about acting, and since Uzumaki Mito has smoothed things over for him, there's no reason why he shouldn't just go along with it. Kashina, don't worry, we will always be friends. Kashina's eyes turned red again when she heard this. Sarutobi Hirazan on the side couldn't help but sigh, but for the sake of the overall situation, he still stepped forward. Kashina, let's get started. Remember Mito Sama's expectations of you. Kashina wiped her red eyes and nodded vigorously. Then he walked towards the cabin with a determined look on his face. The Nine Tails succession ceremony officially started. The ceremony went smoothly with almost no twists and turns. With the death of Mito Sama, Kashina successfully became Nine Tails Jinchuriki. The sealing technique style is also a four image seal. At this point, Kashina became the second Jinchuriki of Nine Tails. In the evening, Yu Gong Chinchin returned home and sat on the roof looking at the night sky. Chomei's voice suddenly sounded Chinchin boy, thank you. Chomei, were you scared by Nine Tails? Why did you start talking nonsense? 
Chin Chin, I was just moved by what that human woman said, love. I don't know if that fool Kurama can get the so-called love. Although the tailed beasts fight constantly, they are from one body after all, and they still have feelings for each other. Ha ha ha, yes, that fox will definitely get love. Just like I got you, Chome, I'll love you too. Chome, forget it, I don't need you to love me, I don't like you, you are too ugly. Moonlight Chinchin, it has been two months since Kashina took over as Jinchuriki. Her outing mission was completely cancelled, and she did not even need to perform the mission. Accordingly, she could receive a certain allowance every month. And she knew the reason very well, but she had no choice. After all, her identity is different at this time, and as a Jinchuriki, this is what she must bear. Thanks to Namikaze Minato and Moonlight Chinchin, she might have been even more lonely otherwise. Moonlight Chinchin Home Yi Kang, is sand hidden village fun? I haven't seen yellow sand yet. What is that experience like? If it's all sand, how does your sand hidden village survive? Isn't there a shortage of water? Kashina and Yagora are sitting together drinking tea and eating desserts. What's so good about sand? It's far inferior to Konoha, but there is an underground river under Sunagakur village. So there is no shortage of water. It only took one day for Yi Kang and Kashina to become familiar with each other. After all, their situations are very similar to some extent. One cannot leave the village, and the other cannot leave the village. We cannot say they are exactly the same, we can only say they are exactly the same. Hagaro was shocked when he learned that the girl in front of him was Jinchuriki. In the same way, Kashina was also surprised and couldn't open her mouth from ear to ear when she learned that Yi Kang was a ninja of Sunagakur village and was captured by Gekko Chizen. In this way, after a day of discussing each other, the two successfully became friends. So, that fool Yugong Chinchin went to his teacher's place again. Well, it's said that there is some kind of research going on. It's very mysterious. Yi Kang angrily scolded Moonlight Chinchin, thinking, I promised to take her to visit Konoha, but in the end, it only lasted three days of hot weather, but only three days. Then it disappeared. HMPH, I really can't believe what a man says. Minato also said he would accompany me, but then he turned around and went on a mission. HMPH, Yi Kang, how about we go shopping? Kashina is a restless person, and letting her stay in one place might as well kill her. Ah, just the two of us. Wouldn't that be bad? After all, my identity. Yi Kang actually wanted to go out and have a look, but her status was really special. She also didn't want to cause trouble for Yugong Chinchin. After all, she can stay here safely now thanks to Yugong Chinchin's role as Anbu. Oh, it's okay. Although we can't leave the village, what's the point of just strolling around the village? Under Kashina's persistence, Yi Kang still soft-heartedly agreed to her. Then the two of them walked into the village and started wandering around. At the same time, Orochimaru Laboratory. Esbara C. Mr. Chinchin, your idea is absolutely correct. Ninjas with multiple attributes are very common, but why do they not have blood inheritance limits? That's because the bloodline lacks guidance. If it is guided and the elements are forcibly mixed, new attributes can be generated. It's a pity that although your and Yi Kang's bloodlines are magical, they are not enough to support this research. Although there is power in the blood, it is still too little, and the activity has been greatly lost. Alas, what a pity. In the past two months, Orochimaru and Gekko Chinchin began to analyze the blood successor limit, hoping to use manpower to create the blood successor limit. Although the experiment has made some progress, the materials are limited and it is impossible to explore further. Yugong Chinchin's face was a little pale at this time. In the past two months, his blood had been drawn by Orochimaru almost every other time. He has become a mobile blood bank, but his blood alone cannot support the continuation of Orochimaru's research. This was the scene where Orochimaru just sighed. Teacher, you have been very successful. I guess there is no other person in the entire ninja world who can explore this far. But, teacher, can we stop taking blood? I feel like I'm anemic. Orochimaru looked at his beloved disciple's pale face and smiled slightly. Chinchanjin, please stop pretending. Although I draw a few tubes of your blood every now and then, I still give you the medicine to replenish your blood. With your physique, you won't be anemic at all. If you want benefits, just say so. 
seeing as you have cooperated with me in conducting experiments for so long, maybe I will agree. The experiment has made progress, and Orochimaru is still in a good mood. Upon hearing that there was a reward, Yu Gong Chinchin's face instantly turned rosy. This is his use of chakra, which extends from the Eight Gates armor. It opens the first gate of the Eight Gates armor and uses the increased chakra limit to forcibly restrict the blood flow on the face. I have to say that this guy is very talented in developing ninjutsu, but the development direction is crooked. Teacher, I see that you are also very talented in device research. Can you make me a suit of armor? It doesn't have to be too exaggerated. It can breathe fire or discharge electricity. Orochimaru, listen to what others have to say. Armor, it also needs to be able to breathe fire. Be able to discharge electricity. Why don't you ask to go to heaven? Moonlight Chinchin. Sorry, I can fly myself. He he he, Mr. Chinchin, I think your skin is itchy. Why don't you ask the teacher to practice with you? In two months, I'm afraid you will regress. Looking at Orochimaru's increasingly dangerous eyes, Yu Gong Chinchin shuddered violently. If you don't want to do it, just don't do it, why bother taking action? What, teacher, I think it's still early. I'm going to take a bath, so I won't delay your research. All dodge. The flying thunder god activated, and the moonlight chinchin disappeared directly in front of Orochimaru. Seeing the moonlight chinchin leaving quickly, Orochimaru couldn't help but smile sadly. It seems that next time I have to set up an isolation circle here, flying thunder god, hee <laughs> hee. After escaping from the laboratory, Yugong Chinchin sat on the Hokage rock and looked at the village below, and couldn't help but complain. HMPH, stingy, isn't it just to be a battle armor? Is it that difficult? Forget it, I guess he hasn't been exposed to such high-level mechanical research yet. Hey, my attributes haven't increased at all in the past two months, which is really annoying. It's time to do something old. Ha, huh, those two people. Suddenly the moonlight Chinchin activated his insect eyes and looked towards the commercial street below. After he saw it clearly, he couldn't help but exclaimed, why did they run out? This Kashina, even if she ran out on her own, why did she bring Yi Kang out too? But the next second he smiled. Hee hee, isn't this a good opportunity? Let me think about it, how can I not be aware of the ghost? It didn't take long for Yu Gong Chinchin to think about a good trick in his mind, which was surrounded by ideas. The next second his figure disappeared on the Hokage rock face. After roughly estimating the speed at which the two women were traveling, Yu Gong Chinchin drove the trancher and ran directly to a shop not far from them and entered. Chomei, borrow some phosphorus powder. Ha, huh, what do you want to use it for? Don't ask, just tell me if you want to watch a show. If you want to see it, take it and use it. Well, Chomei has been completely carried away by Moonlight Chinchin now. When he heard that there was a show to watch, he was more happy than anyone else. Feeling Chomei's chakra pouring into her body, a treacherous smile appeared on Yu Gong Chinchin's face. This is a traditional Chinese medicine store that sells some medicinal materials. The boss was working diligently at the counter when suddenly a burst of phosphorus powder hit his face. The next second he fell directly into deep sleep. Chomei, how long do you have to sleep this time? Well, I guess it should be almost done in one day. That's fine. As the boss fell asleep, Yu Gong Chinchin released the translucent escape, and then dragged the boss to the back hall very neatly. And he himself is a person who transformed into a boss through a transformation technique. It's just that this boss looks a little bad. He then started preparing to receive Hagara and Kashina. Chinchin boy, how can you guarantee that they will definitely come to this store? Intuition. Quote dot 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 dot. Why does my intuition tell me that they won't come? Because you lack intuition. Chomei was immediately speechless, quietly waiting for Moonlight Chinchin to perform. But in my heart, I was thinking, ha, huh, if they hadn't come, I wouldn't have nagged you to death. Little did they know that the two girls who were shopping had already seen this medicinal shop on the street. Yi Kang, can you make soldiers grain pills? Ha, huh, why do you do that kind of thing? Eat, you see, although we can't go out, we can be brave and try to make something. When the time comes, I will make it for Minato, and you will make it for Moonlight Chinchin, hee hee, how about it? Yi Kang was speechless for a moment, stretched out a finger and poked Kashina's forehead, and said angrily. 
You, you really can't sit still for a moment. Also, why should I serve Gecko Cheezen? Don't forget, she kidnapped me. If it weren't for her, I would still be the elite Jonin of Sunagakar village. Kashina laughed when he heard this and said with great disdain. Sister Yi Kang, please pull me down quickly. If you really wanted to go back to Sand Hidden Village, you would have tried every possible means to escape. But you didn't even once. Obviously, there is nothing in Sunagakar Village that makes you miss it. Instead of doing this, you might as well stay in Konoha. Yi Kang was said to be the centerpiece. She did want to escape from Konoha at first, but the past few months of life made her feel a completely different life from that in Sunagakar Village. Ebi Sami and Kashina, and even Moonlight Chinchin, they gradually dispelled the loneliness in their hearts. I don't know since when, Yi Kang has forced himself to forget his identity and would rather live like an ordinary person. Okay, Sister Yi Kang, let's go. There is a pharmacy in front of us. Let's buy some medicinal materials and go back to make Bingliang pills. Kashina pulled Yi Kang towards the pharmacy, but Yi Kang still stopped. He said very helplessly. Even if you want to make Bingliang pills, you don't need to go to the pharmacy. Kashina, I know the recipe for Bingliang Wan. As we all know, Bingliang Wan is a must-have supply for ninjas when they go out. It can effectively restore chakra and also provide a feeling of fullness, similar to compressed biscuits. The recipe for Bingliang pills is 1 tablespoon of cocoa powder 1 tablespoon of vegetable juice Try to choose green vegetable juice 6 bean snacks About 10 grams 8 small pieces of biscuits About 20 grams And 10 mixed nuts About 15 grams 2 teaspoons of sesame seeds A little shichimi chili powder And 25 dried grapes Note, this method comes from the Book of War Oh, Sister Yi Kang, of course I know how to make Bingliang Wan But think about it, we made this ourselves How could it be so ordinary? In order to improve the nutritional content of Bingliang pills, it is necessary to add some medicinal materials. Let's go. After the words fell, Kashina directly pulled Yi Kang into the pharmacy. When he saw the two girls entering the store, Chomei was stunned and blurted out, Chinchin boy, you are amazing. Yu Gong Chinchin laughed in his heart and responded in a very disgusting manner, basic operations, basic operations, ha ha ha. Hey, two customers, what do you want to buy? Our store has a full range of medicinal materials, so you can have everything you want. The actor Chinchin is online, and his attitude cannot be said to be exactly the same as that of a drugstore owner, I can only say that he is. Yi Kang looked at the boss in front of him, wondering why she always felt something was wrong. But she couldn't see it. Kashina, on the other hand, has already started consulting for Bingliangwan. Boss, I want to make some Bingliang pills. Are there any medicinal materials that can improve the properties of Bingliang pills? Is there any harm in doing so? Oh, Bingliangwan, ha ha ha, Minato, Minato, you fell into my hands again. Gecko Chinchin is going to laugh out loud. Needless to say, Kashina made the pills for Namikaze Minato. That's right, he didn't come in vain this time. How could he be so happy when he thought about teaming up with Kashina to drug Minato? Oh, let's make military food pills. There are some. I'll look for them. You must be careful when adding medicinal materials to food such as Bingliang pills. It must not exceed three kinds of medicine. If you want to increase the effect of Bingliang pills, I recommend hemp seeds, cypress seeds, and almonds. These three flavors are relatively mild medicinal materials, which are very suitable for making Bingliang pills. If I don't talk about anything else, let's talk about Moonlight Thousand Mountains one after another. Let alone Kashina and Hagara, even if you let Hitaki Sakumo come, he would still have to believe it. After hearing this, Kashina immediately said that each item would cost 5 pounds. This makes Moonlight Chinchin Shaocha angry, 5 pounds, Minato, you are blessed. Buy so much, have you used it? Yi Kang felt that he had bought a little too much, so he immediately said that it would be better to buy less. But Yu Gong Chinchin saw that the plan was about to succeed, how could she be allowed to ruin it? Don't worry, the properties of these medicines are very mild. It won't hurt to use more. But remember, don't just put 5 pounds in at once, otherwise even if Master Hokage comes, he won't be able to bear it. If you want to make it once, one jin is enough. With five jins, you can make a lot. Yamamoto, 
being a humanitarian, tried to persuade her. Kashina heard this and quickly praised her boss as a good person. The sentence, you are a good person, almost made Yugong Chinchin unable to hold back. And the Chomei inside him was laughing so hard that he was laughing so hard. It was so funny. When I thought about the fact that the Bingliang pills Minato took contained three powerful laxatives, one pound at a time, Yugong Chinchin couldn't bear it. Minato, don't thank me, Kashina is doing it for your own good. Popular science. Hemp seeds, almonds, and cypress seeds all have laxative effects. Just when Yu Guang Chenchen suppressed a smile and handed the bag full of medicinal materials to Kashina. Suddenly another person walked into the store. Kashina, you are here too, Sassy is ignoring you. Makoto Chan, you haven't come to see me for a long time. The sudden conversation stunned Yu Gong Chenchen, but when he heard the word Makoto, his eyes suddenly lit up. Makoto, Uchiha Makoto. Isn't this Fugaku's future wife? Calculating time, these two should be getting along soon. However, I don't know if the confession incident of Namikaze Minato and Uchiha Fugaku had any impact. Don't let Itachi-san and Urzuzi deal with it by then. Not to mention, it seems like every wife character that appears in Hokage is pretty good looking. Oh, it's not the fault of Moonlight Chinchin and Namikaze Minato. Moonlight Chinchin. Ah, Kashina. I. Humph, it's all my fault, Moonlight Chinchin. It's because of these two that Fugaku Ni was in a daze a few days ago. He was sharpening his knife every day and even muttering that he wanted to cut down Namikaze Minato and Gekko Senzin to prove his innocence. Hearing this, Yi Kang was immediately interested. Sure enough, every woman has an 8 trigrams heart. She immediately came forward, her face full of curiosity. Who is this? Oh, Makoto. Let me introduce you, this is Sister Yi Kang, my good sister. Uchiha Makoto quickly bowed to Yi Kang, who helped her up. You continue to tell me, what is going on between this? Fugaku, Gekko Chizen and Namikaze Minato. Makoto was a little confused. Logically speaking, this matter was quite a big deal. How could the sister in front of him not know about it? Kashina came forward in time to help smooth things over. Sister Yi Kang has been away on missions and has only recently returned to the village. She doesn't know about this. Uchiha Makoto instantly showed a hint of, I understand, expression. HMPH, it's not like Gekko Chizen insists on dragging Namikaze Minato to confess to Fugaku Ni. Confess, confess your love. Yes, it seems that Namikaze Minato lost a bet with Gekko Chizen, and as a result, Gekko Chizen asked him to confess to Fugaku Ni. I'm so angry. There's no point in betting on something like this. The more Makoto talked, the angrier he became, and his whole body moved closer to Red Pepper. Moonlight Chinchin behind me shivered suddenly, thinking, winter is coming, it's so cold, it's time to put on more clothes. Yi Kang almost laughed out loud after hearing this. She had always felt that Yu Gong Chinchin was very out of touch with her actions, but she never expected that she could instruct others to do such things. She was really as inappropriate as ever. Sister Yi Kang, you are still smiling. Minato and Fugaku Ni were hugging each other at that time. As a result, brother Fugaku was so stunned that he sharpened his knife every day and said he was going to kill them both. It's not that I'm afraid that his body won't be able to bear it, so I plan to make some soldiers grain pills for him, so I came here to buy some medicinal materials. Oh, another one making rice balls. Or is it for Uchiha Fugaku? Yu Gong Chinchin suddenly became interested again. Anyway, tossing one is a toss, and tossing two is also a toss. Minato ate it all, Fugaku also ate it, there was nothing wrong with it. Anyway, the fate between these two families is so deep, it's great to eat and suffer together. Hey, Makoto, I'm thinking the same thing as you. I'm also here to buy medicinal materials to make military pills, but I'm making them for Minato. Also, the main responsibility for that incident lies with Yu Gong Chinchin, and it has nothing to do with Watergate. Yu Gong Chinchin heard this clearly, and the resentment in his heart, it was clearly Minato who started the war. I made him laugh at me for not having a master, and when I lost, I couldn't afford to play, so I confessed him. How come Yukashina told me that he has no responsibility at all? Ah, really, then what medicinal materials did you buy? Are they useful? This is my first time using medicinal materials to make Bingliang pills. 
I have no experience at all. When Kashina heard this, she immediately smiled happily, turned her head and pointed at Moonlight Chinchin, and said confidently. I bought hemp seeds, almonds, and cypress seeds. The boss said that these three medicinal materials are all mild and are most suitable for making Bingliang pills. Right, boss, Yu Gong Chinchin said right again and again. Looking at Makoto's shining eyes, he had already imagined that he had gained dozens of attributes. After all, according to his experience, the more important the role, the more rewards he will be provided. That's right, feel free to take it back and eat it. The effect will definitely exceed your expectations. Uchiha Makoto heard this and quickly paid for the medicine. Under Kashina's guidance, she also bought 5 kilograms at a time. Looking at Makoto carrying 5 kilograms of medicinal materials, Yugong Chinchin felt that the muscles in his face were twitching. Bear it, Chinchin, you must hold it. Ah, Uchiha people, I'm laughing so hard. When I think of a person with two red eyes squatting on the ground, why do I want to laugh so much, Chomei-sama? Chomei, who was already out of breath from laughing, quickly reminded Moonlight Chinchin. And he himself was almost dying of laughter. Kashina and Makoto didn't notice Gekko Chizan's twitching cheeks, but they couldn't stand the fact that there was Hayakura next to them. Yi Kang saw the boss's face twitching at a glance, and couldn't help but be a little confused. Thinking of the weirdness when she first entered the door, she couldn't help but ask. Boss, what's wrong with you? Why is your face beating? Yu Gong Chinchin was secretly startled, thinking, how come this woman has such subtle powers of observation? He quickly suppressed the smile that was about to burst in his heart and said sadly. Hey, it's an old problem. My face will twitch when I talk too much. It is an incurable disease, and I have always relied on medicinal materials to treat it. This is why I became the owner of a pharmacy. The purpose is to use the knowledge I have learned to help more people escape from suffering. It has to be said that Yu Gong Chinchin's ability to adapt to situations is very good, and his small twitching made him sound like he was about to die. Coupled with his beating and depressed face, Yi Kang immediately dismissed the suspicion that had just arisen, and even blamed himself a little. This boss is so selfless that I actually doubt him. Hey, it's all Yu Gong Chinchin's fault. Yu Gong Chinchin, can I blame him for this? In the end, the three of them walked out of the store while talking and laughing while holding the medicinal materials. After using their insect eyes to watch the three girls go away, Yugong Chinchin couldn't bear it anymore. A flying thunder god returned to the Hokage rock face, laughing loudly. Kashina and Yi Kang were not idle for a moment when they returned home and started making Bingliang pills directly. Sister Yi Kang, how many medicinal materials do you want to put in? Well, as the boss said, just put it in one gin at a time. If it's not enough, buy it later. Okay, let's get started. Minato should be back in a few days. I must let him eat hot military food pills. Okay, okay, silly sister, let's get started. Hee <laughs> hee, if that fool Chinchin knew that sister Yi Kang personally made Bing Liang pills for him, he might cry until he died. Yes, I will definitely cry till I die. In the past few days, Yu Gong Chinchin noticed that Kashina always ran home, then grabbed Yi Kang and got into the room, staying there all day. Of course Gekko Chizan knew what they were doing, not only the two of them, but he also knew exactly what Uchiha Makoto was doing. Isn't it just this wave of Feng Shuaman and Uchiha Fugaku making special military food pills? It stands to reason that Minato should be back as well. There will be a lot of fun to watch when he comes back. With a happy mind, Yu Gong Chinchin went straight to the ninja school. Graduation examinations are about to start recently, and it seems that Chunin will also start at the same time. He is also on the list of invigilators as a teaching assistant. When I arrived at the school, I found that all the students and teachers were standing on the playground, divided into two large squares, one large and one small. Yu Gong Chinchin looked very curious and consciously walked into the teacher's square. Yo! Teacher Yu Gong rested for a while and finally returned to school. Hey, isn't this a mission? But, Teacher Ming Yu, what are you doing? Yu Gong Chinchin found a teacher, a kind middle aged man who had taught many people. He was originally a Chunin. Although his strength was not high, he had a high reserve of knowledge and was highly respected by everyone. I heard that the principal is going to be changed. It is said that the new principal is a strong man. 
No, this is a welcome ceremony for the new principal arranged by the school. Ha, huh, new principal, never heard of it. Looking at teacher Mingyu, he must be indeed a strong man. Although Konoha is relatively peaceful, it is a ninja village after all, and Mu Cheng is doing normal things. Just when he started to wonder who the new principal was, a loud welcome pulled him back to the present world. Welcome the new principal. As the sound fell, there was a grand sound of applause, and students and teachers were applauding. There was originally only the old principal on the temporary stage, but in an instant there was an extra person. Seeing this extra person, everyone's eyes widened with disbelief. Because this man is middle-aged and young, the traces of time make him look very refined. Her short silver white hair is very eye-catching, and there is a smile hanging on the corner of her mouth. The only difference is that half of Hokage's sleeves are missing, and there is a smile on his originally serious face. Hitaki Sakumo, Moonlight Chinchin suddenly blurted out. The next second, everyone looked at him fiercely. Teacher Chinchin, this is Lord Sakumo. How can you call him by his first name? Sakumo sama is the new principal of our school and your superior. You should respect him. The old principal immediately blushed and felt furious. Hitaki Sakumo laughed and raised his hand to stop the old principal from spitting out lotus flowers. Teacher Chinchin, are you surprised? But I remember I told you that I would come to the ninja school to teach. As soon as Moonlight Chinchin saw Hitaki Sakumo, he felt his little flower trembling slightly. He finally understood why the people in Yuyan village called him White Fang. This thousand-year killing is not only a physical blow, but the most important thing is a psychological blow, which makes people unforgettable for a long time. Seeing Gekko Chizen's dull expression, Hitaki Sakumo chuckled again, then looked at the students and teachers below, and spoke again. I believe everyone knows me, so I will briefly introduce myself. Hitaki Sakumo, the new principal. Please give me your advice in the future. Three simple sentences made everyone in the audience go crazy. Oh my god, I'm not dreaming. The famous Konoha White Fang is our principal. How awesome. Ha ha ha, we are so lucky. With Principal Sakumo leading us, we will definitely become the best ninjas. Who says it's not the case? If you want to blame it, blame those who have already graduated. How unfortunate they are. Listening to the cheers of the students, Yugong Chinchin looked strange and sighed silently. Young, still young, the man in front of you is Lang Mie who can be cruel to his own son. One of them graduated early that year, and unexpectedly found a Jonin as an examiner for his son. You still feel lucky, poor children, your hard times are coming. Everyone, please calm down. Principal Hitaki has something else to say. The old principal saw that the people below were going crazy, and immediately came out to help control order. When the voice subsided, Hitaki Sakumo smiled slightly and spoke again. Graduation exams are coming soon. I have some thoughts and ideas about it. For a long time, the content of the graduation examination has been ninjutsu assessment. I think this is very unfair. Ninjas should not be judged simply by the level of ninjutsu. Genjutsu, physical skills, and even stealth skills are all the goals for ninjas to learn. Therefore, the graduation assessment in the near future will be significantly rectified. I personally think that more people should be allowed to show what they are good at. As long as they can achieve results and achieve results in their own fields, then I think they are qualified to become ninjas. After saying this, the whole audience was silent. Moonlight Chinchin looked at Hitaki Sakumo with wide eyes, never expecting that he could actually take this step. The rectification of the ninja school system is such a big deal. To put it bluntly, this is overturning the previous second Hokage bill. But this is a very correct thing to do, because human potential exists in different fields, and generalizing it would be too harmful. Who says physical skills can't be transformed into shadows? Let him wait for 20 years and see if Kai can open the seven doors and kick him to death. If he can't wait, he can go to Mad Dai and give it a try first. Who said that stealth skills can't be put on the table? Come and talk to him about Moonlight Chinchin, and then his house will be emptied out. Okay, long live Principal Hitaki. The first one to burst into cheers was Metkai, and his flushed cheeks made it clear how excited he was. I think Principal Hitaki is right. Kai's physical skills have long been beyond ordinary people, but because the test content is always ninjutsu, he has never graduated. 
I support it. As Kai's friend and second rival, Uchiha Obito also spoke in support. Immediately afterwards, people kept shouting loudly that Principal Hataki was wise. After thinking about it, the teachers also felt that this was a good thing. For a time, the voices supporting Hataki Sakumo became louder and louder. Hi, really hi, Hataki Sakumo is worthy of being the number one person under the Hokage. No one can match his courage. Hey, for nothing I'm still thinking about how to let Metkai pass smoothly this time. Gekko Chizen looked at Hitaki Sakumo on the stage with admiration and admired him sincerely. But revenge must be avenged. The revenge of a thousand years of killing must be avenged. Otherwise, he will have psychological shadow. News of Hitaki Sakumo becoming the principal of the ninja school quickly spread throughout the village. Most people were surprised, because a few days ago, the Konoha White Fang was a high-end combat force in the village, and now he became the principal who teaches and educates people. The contrast is too great. But everyone is very accepting of Hitaki Sakumo's appointment as principal. After all, having such a strong man educate the next generation is undoubtedly a huge good thing for the village. Some children who have not yet entered school are even more happy. Some people agree and some people disagree. No, a big drama is going on in the Hokage building right now. Sarutobi Hirazan plus Hitaki Sakumo versus Shimura Danzo plus Transfer Kaharu plus Mido Kadoyan. The war was fierce. Both sides held their own opinions and had a heated argument. This is nonsense. The ninja school was established by the teacher, Second Hokage Senju Toborama Sama. To help the village cultivate powerful ninjas. Hitaki Sakumo, you dare to destroy the bill left by Nadaim. You are betraying. At this time, Danzo transformed into a coffin bearer and directly carried the second Hokage's coffin to accuse Hitaki Sakumo and Sarutobi Hirazan of their actions. Also carrying the coffin were Kaharu Kaharu and Mido Mano. On this matter, the two people's views are surprisingly consistent with Shimura Danzo's. Danzo originally invited Akamaiki to carry the coffin together, but he was busy opening a barbecue restaurant and rejected his offer. Seeing that Akamaiki was unwilling to take care of these things, he didn't force it. Anyway, the three of them were enough teammates to carry the coffin. Hirujin, Danzo is right about what happened this time. You have gone too far. Mito Kadoyan also looked very unhappy. In his opinion, changing the assessment of the ninja school without authorization was a taboo. Go to bed although Kaharu didn't say anything, her face said everything. Humph. I don't deny that this is the law left by the teacher, but he is no longer suitable for the current village. The overall strength of the ninja is the key, not just the study of some ninjutsu can be generalized. It's not like we don't have strong taijutsu masters in Konoha. Don't you know how strong Lao Chen's physical skills are? Serutobi Hirazan, pipe in hand, showed no fear in the face of the pressure of the three coffin-bearing trio, and responded with harsh words. Lao Chen, a strong taijutsu player and the founder of Konoha Dragon God, whose strength reaches Jonin level. Moonlight Senzin, he doesn't know much about fighting ninjutsu, but with his stealth skills, do you dare to say that his strength is weaker than the average elite Jonin? Moonlight Chinchin, weak, very weak, I can't fight at all, my fighting ability is an extremely average Chunin level. HMPH Blindly pursuing ninjutsu practice while neglecting other aspects, this shortcoming must be improved. I admit that there is no doubt that ninjutsu is powerful, but among the three of us, we are all getting older, and the amount of chakra is not as large as before. Under such circumstances, does the power of ninjutsu really mean anything? Without a strong body and physical strength, no matter how much you learn ninjutsu, it will be useless. Serutobi Hirazan with full firepower, was like a small sun. The scorching sun's rays illuminated the trio who carried the coffin, and they could only avoid the sharp edge temporarily. That doesn't change the bill. Nadimes will cannot be changed. If you want to cultivate more talents, you can set up corresponding courses instead of changing the final assessment content. Danzo Shimura insisted on the importance of law and will, which made Hirazan Serutobi feel angry. Everyone, you all know how powerful the third rakage is. What he relies on is not the power of lightning-style ninjutsu, but his indestructible body. Don't you want to cultivate some strong men like rakage? Hitaki Sakumo crossed his hands on his chest and told a fact with a smile. 
That's why Rekage's strength comes from physical strength. Without strong physical strength, how can you show how powerful he is? In today's ninja schools, there are talents who have grown up relying on taijutsu. I don't want to overthrow Nadaim's will. But I want to implement Nadaim's will and better develop the shining points of every ninja. Just like Moonlight Chinchin, even if he doesn't have absolute combat power, in terms of intelligence and concealment, he is definitely the top of the entire village. I want to cultivate more peaks like him, so that Konoha can be as continuous as a spark. As a veteran strongman, once Hitaki Sakumo's momentum spreads, most people simply cannot bear it. Although the three people carrying the coffin were all elites who had survived the battlefield. But except Shimura Danzo, the other two had not fought for many years, and their momentum was not as good as before, and they were suppressed by Hitaki Sakumo in an instant. Feeling the sharpness from Konoha's white fang, their expressions slowly converged. The most important thing is that what Konoha White Fang stated is the fact that the current tendency of war is getting more and more serious. However, the fighting strength in the village has not increased much. If this continues, even the underage children may have to go to the battlefield in the next war. Even so, you shouldn't announce it so blatantly in public. What you are doing is tantamount to putting the dime's face at risk. Go to bed Kaharu held back for a long time before saying a word, but Hitaki Sakumo was very disdainful. As face useful, now the village is surrounded by enemies on three sides. Sunagakur, Iwagakur, and Kumogakur are all ready to make a move. It is no exaggeration to say that if changes are not made, I don't need to say how much disaster the village will suffer. Let me put it here, the school's rectification is necessary, and I will not let those students with unique charm be hidden away. By the way, Lao Chen has accepted my invitation and will come to the school to teach physical skills on a certain day. I believe that with him here, the student's physical fitness and physical skills will increase significantly. As soon as these words came out, the three people carrying the coffin were stunned. They knew Lao Chen's temper. He is just a smelly and hard stone. Although he is very strong, no one can touch him at all. Unexpectedly, Hitaki Sakumo even invited him. It seems that this is something he has planned for a long time, and even said that he is determined to win. Donzo's face was extremely expressionless. Knowing that he had been defeated, he once again used his classic saying. Hirujin, you will regret it if you do this. When there is a problem in the ninja school, I'll see how you face the teacher. Snort, seeing Danzo leaving, Midoman and Kaharu knew that there was no room for maneuver in this matter. Moreover, what the other party did was indeed for the good of the village, so there was nothing else they could do to stop it. So far, in this battle, the three people carrying the coffin were defeated miserably. Ninja school reform officially begins. Ninja school. Old Chen, thank you very much this time. Humph, if it weren't for the sake of past friendship, I wouldn't have come. Standing next to Hitaki Sakumo was a short, middle-aged man with dark skin, but as he stood there, a different aura of a strong man slowly penetrated his body. He is the ninja who is known as the most powerful taijutsu in Konoha. His real name is Chen Baojun. His unique skill of Konoha Dragon God is even more daunting to many enemy ninjas. Originally, he had an apprentice who was just as simple as him in studying taijutsu. Unfortunately, he was killed in the Second Ninja War, and this strong man became disheartened. Until Hitaki Sakumo came to him and asked this strong man to come out again on the grounds that Konoha would cultivate more high-quality talents. Hey, isn't this Teacher Chen? You are really here to be a teacher. Metkai, who was training physical fitness on the playground, saw Chen Baojun at a glance. As a ninja who practiced physical skills, Kai admired Teacher Chen very much. Lao Chen, that's what I call a good young talent. He works very hard and is very hardworking. Relying on physical skills alone, he already has a strength that is not weaker than that of an average Chunin. Chen Baojun looked at Metkai's sweating figure, and a glimmer of light flashed in his eyes, and then darkened. Physical skills and stuff, hey! With the addition of Chen Baojun, a strong physical martial artist, the ninja school became more and more lively day by day. Even Gekko Chizen couldn't help but sigh, Hitaki Sakumo really brought changes to the ninja school. Just when he was giving the students a stealth lesson, a burst of space fluctuations suddenly appeared in the school. As a master of the flying thunder god technique, he instantly knew who was coming. 
Everyone is studying on their own, I have something to deal with. The next second, the same flying thunder god technique was activated. Sure enough, two people instantly appeared on the roof of the ninja school. Blonde hair and full of vigor, it was Namikaze Minato who had returned from the mission. Chinchin, I thought I wouldn't disturb you if I activated the technique. Humph, are you kidding me? How could I not sense the spatial fluctuations caused by the flying thunder god's technique? Gecko Chizen looked at Namikaze Minato with a smile on his face. I thought to myself, you are finally back. I have been waiting for you for a long time. Chomei, yes, yes. I have been waiting for a long time. Ha ha ha, didn't I just come back after completing my mission? I heard that Sakumo Senpei has become the principal of the ninja school. And he has made major reforms. Namikaze Minato had a look of joy on his face and looked at Moonlight Chinchin nodding his head, making him even happier. That's great, you have to be brave, Sakumo Senpei. Although the ninja school has always been able to train talents, it has too many limitations. By the way, after I come back this time, I should be promoted to Jonin, and I will be the team leader by then. I don't know what kind of students I will lead. I'm really looking forward to it. Leading the team Jonin. Three faces suddenly appeared in Yugong Chinchin's mind, the cold Kakashi, the sullen Obito, and the sweet smiling Lin. Tisk tisk, is the Minato class about to be formed? Not bad. But these are not important right now, what is important is. Minato, let's go. You don't know that Kashina has missed you these days since you were gone. By the way, have you seen Fugaku since you came back? Upon hearing Fugaku's name, Minato glared at Gekko Chinchin fiercely. No, where can I dare to see him now? I dare say he must be sharpening his knife and preparing to hack me or you to death. Oh, he also said that there was no adultery between you two. This guess is really accurate. Ah, let's go home quickly. Kashina has been at my house these days. At your house? Well, she is playing really well with Yi Kang now, and she has even prepared a surprise for you. Moonlight Chinchin couldn't wait to pull Minato and activated the Flying Thunder God technique. After jumping several times in a row, I came directly to the front door of my house. Chinchin, although the Flying Thunder God technique is very convenient, but you are exaggerating it for traveling. It won't take us long even if we walk back. How could Namikaze Minato know what Moonlight Kianzen was thinking? Moreover, the chakra that continuously activates the Flying Thunder God is all provided by Chomei, and the brother in his body can't wait to watch the show. Go, brother, Kashina has been waiting for you for a long time. I won't interrupt your meeting. After all, I have to go back to class. Saying this, a Flying Thunder God from Moonlight Chinchin disappeared in front of Namikaze Minato. Little did he know that he just used the Flying Thunder God to fly to the other side of his house, and then activated his teleportation to directly enter the Yugong family's house from the roof. Watching secretly, Kashina, are you there? Minato walked into the house, and his loud voice directly entered the house. Ah, Minato, you're back. Kashina heard the sound and came looking for him. She was overjoyed when she saw Minato. Well, I just came back today. I heard from Chinchin that you were here, so I came to find you. Chinchin originally came back with me, but he still had classes, so he left. It seems that you have had a very happy time during my absence. Sister Yi Kang, thank you very much. Minato was also very happy to see Kashina. The two of them had a good impression of each other. Only then did Kashina react and quickly grabbed Yi Kang to introduce Minato. Yi Kang looked at Kashina's lover in front of him. She had met Namikaze Minato before, but they had no interaction with each other. After all, they had special status. But she didn't expect that she would actually play with Kashina, and the relationship naturally became closer. Kashina, don't you have a gift for him? I think it's a good time now. Hearing Yi Kang's reminder, Kashina blushed instantly, took a deep look at Minato and then ran towards the house. Seeing the moonlight here, Chinchin has begun to tremble. Out of curiosity, he quietly walked into the room. He saw two bags of military food pills on the table. Ha, huh, why two bags? With curiosity in mind, Yugong Chinchin walked towards the table, cautiously, for fear of being accidentally discovered by Kashina. Under his gaze, Kashina quickly picked up her pocket and ran out. 
It was a pink bag, and it must have contained Bingliang pills mixed with a special laxative. What's the other package? Yu Gong Chinchin tiptoed towards another black bag, slowly opened it, and a sweet fragrance wafted out. Ha, huh, this is also Bingliang pill, but why does it smell so good? It doesn't look like it was made by Kashina, does it? Is it possible? Yu Gong Chinchin suddenly turned his head to look at Yi Kang in the middle of the yard, and was instantly convinced that Yi Kang must have done it. But who is Yi Kang's bag of military grain pills for? Ha, huh, it smells so good, Chin Chin, what is this? It looks delicious. Foodie Chome was originally going to watch the show, but when he smelled the aroma, he immediately diverted his attention. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.